Hey everyone, before we start, I just wanted to let you know we've opened up memberships on our YouTube channel. Right now, we have the Tim tier, which is only $1.99 a month. It gives you access to super cool emojis we created, as well as the video versions of the podcast with animations and higher quality audio than anywhere else with zero YouTube ads. And you want to know something super cool and super secret? You get early access to new episodes before anybody else. We hope you think it's a pretty cool deal. And joining the channel really helps us out a lot. If you're hearing this on YouTube, you can just click the join button below. And if you're hearing this elsewhere, just search for us on YouTube or click the link in the podcast description. We really appreciate our listeners and we thank you guys for supporting us. We love you. Hey, you know what? For everyone who got us to 34,000 subscribers on YouTube, thank you. <laughs> thank oh, you. I really, really, really cool. Cool. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, dude. You really Mark Marin me, dude. <laughs> um, Marvin is constantly trying to Mark Marin you, Ricardo. <laughs> I want to say a couple things before we yeah. start. Mm -hmm. One, okay. This episode was really good. <laughs> I bet you liked it. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Enjoyed, I, yeah. I, I, I had a feeling you'd be very into this one. I was very <laughs> into this one. I, two. I my think we're biggest all complaint, into it. Why, why would anybody I, I, not be? I have a big it? complaint. I have a big complaint. Oh. Okay. Not enough Riker. Mm. Oh, I agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I actually agree with you on Well, this. they wanted it to be a Picard story. So that's yeah, great. Yeah, but you, you could always mm. pepper in a little Riker. No, I bet Patrick Stewart wanted it to be a Picard story. Did anyone notice that Deanna wasn't even in the episode at <laughs> all? Yeah, <laughs> you're right. I actually did. I <laughs> did we I miss actually her? Actually, didn't. We it's didn't they miss couldn't, her because they couldn't bring in a real, actually good empath and then compare her to Deanna. I know Ooh. you can't. You can't have. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, Marvin, that's so savage. They were like, we can't have empaths compete. I mean, oh, it's, no. it's, it's kind savage, of but it's also kind of true because how <laughs> yeah. do you reconcile like these two? Yeah, imagine that they're they're together and like Jean Grey keeps going like oh you're feeling this and then yeah. and then she's like right next to her going like i i, I didn't feel that <laughs> yeah exactly that's yeah. exactly what would happen yeah. deanna would be yeah. like oh i wow i didn't i didn't realize he was feeling that way yeah i think you're lying <laughs> i think i i sense that you're lying <laughs> oh, it's like when someone someone who's better at their job comes in and like exactly better than exactly. you and you're like wait um okay it's and like, then oh, starts playing that Randy oh. Newman song from Toy Story. Yeah. When Buzz Lightyear's out but overshadowing him yeah. and everything. And yeah. <laughs> exactly. It was called In the Mood by Glenn Miller. Yeah. But but yeah. by Randy Newman again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, <laughs> like, you know We can be friends. Um, <laughs> you know what? You know what we need, then? <laughs> this need... Randy Newman scatting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know what we really need in the world? We need someone to really do something with that song, dude. Like sample it. We need like little Yachty or like, you know, like yes, Kanye oh, West. Oh, Mr. Worldwide. Why hey, can't Mr. Mr. Worldwide, Worldwide do it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm waiting X. for a comeback of mainstream common. swing again. Come on, Common. Com yeah. Well, Common is kind of more in like the acting game now, dude. But he can do mm. it. He spent some time. Yeah. Spend some no, time making I think, a special think, project. Yeah. Look, Mo's deaf, dude. Yeah. Mm, Mo's deaf. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not, uh, but not by most then, deaf. Yeah, he's not most deaf anymore, though. He's he's yeah. mostly definitely. Mm. <laughs> well, I no. mean, Kid Cudi seems to be doing some stuff with Star Trek. That's know. true. Seems yeah, like but he's, he, he, he's not in, he's not deep into the Glenn Miller shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he has to, he has to have fingers in both worlds. Yeah, yeah. in order to combine yeah. them. I love Kid yeah. Cudi though. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, very good. Very oh, good. this episode's a good one. Nice and sexy. <laughs> very sexy. Just the way we one like it. One of the it. sexiest we've ever seen, probably. I know. Oh my I god. I love it, but I kind of I for personal reasons I wanted it. I wanted Picard to be replaced with Riker. <laughs> for personal reasons. I, I didn't want to replace. I just wanted more, like like a little more, like like fighting. You know what I mean, oh, oh, like like okay. a competition. Like a yeah, competition. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there was no competition, which a competition would have been kind of nice. Well, it, ha had it turned into a competition, then it would have been precisely the thing Picard wanted to avoid. Yes, and also very uh, different as a, uh, the point of the episode. So yeah. I, I did say in the teaser that, hey, look, I really love this episode. But also, there's things I really fucking hate about this episode. Mm. Like a oh, lot. Twist. Here's the biggest thing. We never know what happens to the... To the uh, fuck, what do they go? 
I don't know. Uh, I don't know the what metamorph. The guys the with Kamala? the big ears? The guy with the big ears? Oh, the Ferengi. Oh, the yeah. Ferengi. Oh, yeah, oh they the just Ferengi. kicked we, off. We, yeah. No, yeah. No, 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 no. But they have to be like, tried, dude. Yeah, they did say that they're, the way we're going to prosecute them <sighs> will depend on whether the guy dies or not. So Yeah, but I, I, wanted, I wanted more of that, <laughs> dude. so like, crazy. Yeah. Also, like, like, no one came in and go, you murdered him, dude. And they're like, no, no. Like, we, I needed to see <laughs> some sort of, like, mm-hmm. retribution, dude. And then, and then we didn't, we don't really know what the deal like we don't know the outcome of the deal i want to know what the deal was like what do they what do they forfeit in order to make the deal happen you know what i mean mm-hmm. what do you, oh you mean oh you mean like the actual negotiation between the yeah, two yeah, oh, yeah. I, that, oh, that was, no one cares that, about that that was a side that, that was more of a catalyst for the story it's I thought, not really and i thought yeah, the parties were gonna, just there to fuck things up to make sure kamala got out early yeah 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 so i mean yeah, and, well. and I'm kind of upset that um, I was going to say Logan Paul. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Logan Paul didn't make it to this episode. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Paul brothers. Oh, um, no, I meant uh, Wolverine should have been in this episode, dude. He oh, just, just, mm. Hugh Jackman is actually the yeah. odd boy. <laughs> Hello, I'm one of the Ferengi. Um, <laughs> he's one of, yeah. he's yeah. an extremely tall Ferengi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I heard you making Why? a deal. I didn't. I didn't realize they were so uh, so petite. Yeah, yeah. yeah when you see them, and they the, also hunch over a lot. They hunch yeah. over a lot, but they also hire short actors. Like like in the last yeah. outpost, uh, they reused one. Yeah, they reused one of them, and also one of the actors. And also uh, in the notes for the Ferengi in the last outpost, they say they they're basically little gremlins. Like they're tiny and annoying. <laughs> and also, <laughs> which like, they are in this episode as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Man, the the gold stuff was really out of hand in this episode. It was well, it was too. Much. It wasn't even nice looking gold. They said no. it was the purest of the galaxy. It looked just brown. It just looks like yeah. painted shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah you know, yet. you know, what I was thinking is that um, you know, with the Ferengi, how they feel about gold is is how. Remember in the Rescue Rangers, Monterey <laughs> Jack Monty would oh, like, his oh, feet yeah, would leave the ground, and he's yeah. like cheese. Yeah, <laughs> and he the would Ferengi float. would float away. Yeah, they float to gold. <laughs> they smell yeah, the, the gold. <laughs> <laughs> like a, I always make that joke about my friend. Yellow hand beckons to them. <laughs> I have a friend who loves donuts, and he uh-huh. know, and we used to work with him, uh-huh. and he could smell donuts. If someone in in, the, in our floor had donuts, he he could he could recognize the scent, dude. <laughs> what? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. So he'd be weird. like, "Oh, someone, someone got yeah. donuts," and then someone in in the kitchen would have donuts. Um, what the fuck? And he also he also had the Monterey Jack thing. We yeah, he floated the, over the donuts. Yeah, yeah. you'd float. Same for floating old, in the hallways. One of our other old coworkers who love popcorn, like cocaine. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about one of the producers. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Popcorn, cocaine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sprinkle a little cocaine. On your popcorn, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like MSG, yeah. Um, it's, uh, the perfect mate. That's what yeah. we saw this week. The perfect mate, starring Famke Johnson, aka Jean Grey from the X Men, in a yeah. pre X Men reunion. Uh, she with- even played a mutant. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. She called herself a mutant. Yeah, they even yeah. have the music. It, it, when she came on, you heard the little cue. <laughs> also, yeah. for Sarah, she would recognize Fonky Johnson from the Blacklist, if you remember. Oh, what did, where is she on the Blacklist? I keep hearing Funky Johnson, and I'd rather call her that. <laughs> she was hey, Tom's Funky mom, Johnson. remember? She was oh. Tom's like super secret agent mom who owns who runs. What's like, her name? She, she I forget. Um, Stacy's mom. Stacy. No, no, no. What's the actress? Uh, Famke on. Johnson. How so. do I spell that? What? Uh, so F A M K E J A. I think it's N N S E N. No, it's N S S E N. Oh, so the other way. I looked this up yesterday too. Okay, okay. So it's the other way around. Oh, right. I see now. Okay, so it's it's Tom Keen's mom, as you would famously know. Her S. She's fifty nine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she's beautiful, by the way. My goodness. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, that's 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 why they. uh, lady. That's, that's she's why got they, uh, like she's got like a very um classically timeless beauty to her. Yes, yeah, she's got and a I classic think, look about does her. Does she does she naturally have an accent, or, or is that yeah. something she's doing for the episode? She's like, "Hello, mate, I'm from Australia." <laughs> um, she's uh, Dutch, apparently. Yeah, um, speaking the Deutschen, um, she makes every movie, every show she's in a lot better. Oh yeah, she was she one she of the standouts in, of Goldeneye. Uh, yeah, she's fantastic. She in was that. in. Yeah. Uh, she did a stint on um, 
on her name was Xenia um, on a top. Nip tuck, <laughs> nip tuck. <laughs> oh right, she was a nip tuck. That's true. Uh, and uh, and it was when it was like, uh, look, nip tuck was. I'm gonna say it. Nip tuck was. Uh, I was gonna say Dale Murphy, but this is <laughs> <laughs> Um, what's his name? Miles Murphy. Miles Murphy, well, the I, creator of of uh, of American Horror Story. Oh, I Ryan don't. Ryan Murphy. Don't. Ryan Murphy. Okay, Ryan Murphy. Okay. Um, nip tuck is Ryan Murphy's like best work. And at one point, it started to falter, and they brought in Famke, and she made it so much better. So much mm. better. Mm. Yeah, she's wow. great. And she's also a really great actress. Um, oh, yeah. She is, she is just being stunning. She has a, a, a great general intensity that kind of s- steals the scene every time. Even Patrick Stewart doesn't quite keep up with how intense she is. Oh, no. Uh, she she blows yeah. him away for sure. Yeah. So it's it's really interesting. Uh, yeah. She's got really intense eye lines. She can she stare does. like so like yes. intensely at somebody. Her yeah. eyes are amazing. She's got these like beautiful chocolate brown eyes. It's like. At first I, like I thought they gave lost. her like purple contacts, but I'm not sure. She no, I think that's just, just it. She yeah. just has very light brown, like hazily eyes. Like yeah, yeah. Very, very light brown, like chocolate brown. Yeah. But do you but you see that like there's it's a performance. It's not just the way she's doing it, because like when you see scenes where she's teaching him how to play the xylophone thingy and stuff, she's like more playful. And it's like you can see yeah, different that, that, performances. That, that wannabe montage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't a montage it was just like a weird I, cut <laughs> it was a weird cut but it felt like like it's them having fun like yeah it, yeah oh it, they wanted ba, to express ba, 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 ba. the because because the, the the old wizard when he recovers uh yeah. he says he says the oh you, you spent you spent days with her and like you you you, you didn't like bang how her, did you not fuck her yeah and, I and mean, so but they tried I think to we show, all were wondering that in, in the in the month <laughs> yeah. uh bye uh, <laughs> yeah uh go away <laughs> yeah, he didn't say no. He didn't say he didn't no. Say the way no. he looks he at him, he's no. like, "Oh my god, you motherfucker!" Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he basically, they, 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 with that shot, I felt like they were trying to make it so, like, "Oh, look, they spent days learning how to play that fucking sweet, sweet Casio." Yeah, yeah. Essentially, um, this this fucking. Um, I was gonna say, I, I know, I, I feel like, oh, this this actor is amazing when they play a part as a bad guy. Mm-hmm. And I hate them for like months, if not years. And what happened <laughs> to me with Matt Damon, when Matt yes, da- yes. Damon played um, he, the bad guy in The Departed, I hated right. him for like the next three years. I'm like you like if you saw him Leo. on the street, yeah. you would like yeah. punch him Fuck in the face. Matt yeah, Damon. Cause he's so yeah. good. Yeah. And mm-hmm. she did the same for me, uh, Famke, in um, this movie uh, with John Favreau called Made. It was like oh, a second okay. directorial movie, the second movie he okay. directed. And she plays like his girlfriend in the movie and she's kind of like a deadbeat mom mm-hmm. and she was just so good and I hated her for, and you know, <laughs> I had seen her in X-Men already. So it's like, I liked her a lot, but I, I fucking hated her for like, she's really underrated as an actress. I think, I yeah. think like uh, she's one of the actresses who definitely like cast for like, Oh, she's really hot. She's very beautiful. Let's cast her for the role. And I think a lot of people forget that she's also very good in yeah. act, the yeah. actual acting part, but you know, uh, that she was in The Perfect Mate, and The Perfect Mate first aired on April 27th of 1992. Dan, let's go around the sun. Woo, all right. It's going to be really short this week because we only had one week. On the 23rd of April, McDonald's opened its very first fast food restaurant in China. <gasps> What? Damn, Damn dude. So wow. apparently 1992 is when McDonald's was introduced to China. Like this was taken from like a single website. So uh, if there's anyone there who can prove me wrong, please do so. I would love to know um, what the first Chinese menu in McDonald's was. That would have been. Oh yeah, that would be really fascinating. All yeah. of our listeners in China, please let us know. Do they come up with like <laughs> bullshit sauces? They're like, here's <laughs> Sichuan sauce. I guess. Well, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't what know. What the fuck is Mandarin sauce? <laughs> Chinese sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Mongolian right, barbecue bit. sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the, all the regions that, that surround us. Yes, uh, yes. This is unverified, but it was just too interesting a tidbit. And I just want to see if anyone out there knows. Um, apparently on the 24th, a man named Vincent Pike was fined 1,000 British pounds for distributing obscene computer pictures on what was considered the internet of 1992. Obscene compute, like like pornography? I'm assuming so. But he was arrested for distributing pornography? That's interesting. Not arrested, fined a thousand pounds. 
by the, so, so does England have a rule against distributing pornography in general? Like anyone wow. out there in the UK, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. On the Billboard charts, Jump, Jump by Criss Cross was on the top. Oh. And on the 25th of April, both Growing Pains and Who's the Boss aired their very final episodes on ABC TV. Oh, okay, cool. And that's our trip <laughs> around the sun. Oh, okay. Well... There we go. Uh. <laughs> it's a sigh of relief for Dan. <laughs> Love it. Uh, well, this week, uh, let's start with extra this week. Because, hey, Black Friday deals are coming. In fact, oh, shit. you should look at them right now. You what already deals? know. What deals? So well, here's the thing. You already know what extra offers. They offer quality compact wallets. They offer the grid backpack. They offer all sorts of other stuff like keychains and little uh, money clips and whatnot, lots of EDC stuff. But did you know that if you go to partner.exter.com slash newbie, that's different, right? It's partner.exter.com slash newbie, or you just use our offer code newbie like usual when you check out, you're going to get up to 55% off during Black Friday Whoa. on any extra product. That's a ridiculous amount of savings for products of that quality. I mean, that turns the grid pack pack into essentially like 60 bucks to buy. Uh, so really, I haven't checked to make sure that's exactly what it goes down to, but 55%. I've been yeah. testing the grid backpack. Yes, right. Sarah's I been like testing it. it. Give us a little review. Quick, quick review. What do you like about it so far? What's the cool thing you noticed? It's It holds a lot for sure. But like, so what are you putting I, in there? What are you putting in there? My computer for work, my notebooks, my wallet, my purse, my everything I need for the day. Mm-hmm. A girl what needs you, a lot you, when they go into the you, office. Yeah, you need a, what, you need a big bag for that bag. But what do you mm-hmm. what do you put your what do you put your wallet in the backpack? In your purse in the backpack? Where else would I put it? Just put the things in in little pockets, so you don't have to carry a a, a purse because you got the backpack what pockets. Well, yeah, yeah. I put I my the backpack becomes my purse and. Oh, work. I thought I thought you were putting your actual purse in like you're like I'm oh, gonna no. pack my. Well, backpack. she also had a spare purse that she put in the backpack <laughs> in case. Well, she I also it. yeah, I also put my like purse in the backpack in case like say I get to work right with my grid backpack with my computer and all my stuff I need for work for the day, and then they're like, hey Sarah want to go out to lunch Ooh. um yeah it's you know, true you don't want to take, take my, i don't want to take my yeah. grid backpack you know i need to bring my wallet maybe some other things like restaurants yeah. and then so i bring my purse inside of the grid backpack so i can go out to lunch that's true put it back in the backpack and then i go home these are things girls have to think about they can't just mm-hmm. go out they have to go out with, you know why I did? do you have like an emergency clutch inside you, of your purse <laughs> i do yeah, yeah. she course. actually does <laughs> I do. I you know everything. what dude this is this is a goddamn garment fucking industry, dude. Still supporting <laughs> big fucking purses, dude. Big purse. <laughs> because make women's pockets bigger, dude. That's Stop. true. We don't need mm-hmm. purses, dude. I mean, we, I mean you. You don't need purses, dude. The the, <laughs> the, 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 the clothing company is in cahoots. Well, Sarah with, does with also purse. carry quite a few things other than <laughs> stuff you would well, carry. Well, you know, the, the including thing Marvin's is, things. Is, well, you guys, uh, yeah, well, you think that I carry my purse. I I don't carry my purse. Marvin carries my purse. <laughs> it's true. So, <laughs> But the purse carries Marvin's things, so it evens out. Yeah, it's true. It carries my glasses. Uh, if so. Marvin is with me or somebody else is with me, they carry my purse for me. That's how it's I, true. That's how that works. But hey, also, we should mention, we also received two Aluminum card holder wallets from Extra Alu- as well. Aluminium. Yeah, aluminium, just to aluminium. check out. Because uh, I personally never bought one before, and Extra was like, well, you should check it out. So they sent that to us. We got the grid backpack for free, just to be transparent. And we also got these wallets, uh, aluminum yeah. wallets for free. So I've been trying it out for, I think, like two weeks now. And you know what? It's good. But I still like the Parliament better, I will say. No, uh, no, no. Right. I, I, I disagree with you. I, I've been testing it out for only two days. Oh yeah! Oh, you can uh, hold it up. Oh yeah, yeah. and it's in my, it was in my pocket, mm-hmm. and I like this better because sometimes when like I had my other wallet, look, mm-hmm. uh, it it was time for a change. So mm-hmm. uh, when Marvin said, "Yeah, I have an extra wallet," I said, "Yes, I'll take one," because mm-hmm. it's been about a year and mm-hmm. since I had my Belroy. Yeah, your Belroy. You like your Belroy, and, Bel- and Belroys are also very nice. Yeah, yes. I love Belroy. Yeah. Um, I like their bags. I like everything. If they want to sponsor us as well. Um, yeah. But I tried this. I put it. In, it's so slim. And I have everything in there. It has that's uh, the like main a money thing. Clip. It's even more compact than the Parliament. It's yeah. hyper compact. Uh, yeah, it looks super thin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You uh, know, the it's, Parliament- it's regular size, Sarah. Come on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> average. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, 
I love it. I went to a concert last night, a classic mm-hmm. concert, and it was easy to just hold up while they wanted me. You know, I oh, like this, all right, you know? nice. And it it uh, I I could put it in the same pocket as my phone, and I'm gonna say it now. I'm gonna announce it to the world so I get jinxed. I've gone <laughs> coverless on my phone. Oh, gotcha. No, right. no, oh. no, no cover because okay. it's such a beautiful phone. The iPhone, the iPhone, <laughs> the iPhone 14 Pro Max. You love it so much. Um, it's so beautiful. And, yeah. and it's and I put it in the same pocket. No scratches. No scratches. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. Well, hmm, that's incredible. Why did you decide to go coverless? Uh, because I like how I uh, my phone looks. I've always mm-hmm. loved it, but mm-hmm. I've always been scared. I'm like, I have yeah. the the insurance on it. Why am I scared? And like now they they don't charge you um a deductible to get a new phone. So oh, okay. I was like, you know what? Being without a phone for like a day while I go schedule for it to get a new one isn't that bad. I rather just enjoy the the aesthetics of my phone my beautiful nice. iphone 14 pro max from apple apple yep I have tim the apple one. the best <laughs> you know Thank i've you. actually noticed a lot more people going coverless you gotta try it it's a trend it's you the gotta trend. try it yeah the a trend lot of people go to... uh no protection yeah, yeah that's been i mean trend. it feels yeah. better <laughs> i mean <laughs> it does i think so <laughs> it literally feels better in, in, in my pocket because it's not bulky <laughs> <laughs> I, I know it's, it's a bit, but it's also true. Yes, it's it literally is. true. Yeah, yeah, because but it's also way slipperier. Well, that's what that's what people like. <laughs> I mean, if you don't put a cover on it, yeah. people don't want the God friction. It, they want the. <laughs> it's true. Like it, it just goes slips in your into pocket, pocket easier, yeah. right? It yeah. slips yeah. right in yeah. real easy. It slips yeah. right in really easier. Yeah. It's easier to get out, and like my yeah. my Perfect. my fingers are like grippy, so like I don't have to worry about it slipping. I and mean, you have insurance, so you can always yeah. get medication if anything and to be yeah, honest exactly uh i dropped it yesterday i dropped oh, okay. it i was i was sitting down at the concert i had a bunch of stuff and i dropped it and i picked it up and i said oh like third day with no cover and, and you know <laughs> and there was nothing on it no scratches no nothing dude i was Excellent. like you know what tim apple makes a great phone mm-hmm. <laughs> well if you guys want a great product like a wallet or a backpack or other stuff to go with a phone like that head on over to partner dot extra.com slash newbie that's partner dot extra.com slash newbie or use offer code newbie when you check out at extra.com that's e-k-s-t-e-r.com for up to an additional 55 percent off your order when you check out that's crazy and also good old mainstay of the channel longest sponsor coolest guys express vpn you know what they're Ooh. all about too <laughs> There, you know, you want to browse the internet more safely with more security, you should get a good VPN. An ExpressVPN just might be one of the best VPNs out there because not only are they super fast, like their name suggests, they're also extremely secure. No turkey could penetrate their defenses. And we know this even with Thanksgiving coming up. And uh, if you want to sign up for a VPN of that quality, super fast, super secure, servers all over the world, Head on over to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. And if you sign up for 12 months, they'll give you three months for free. And you can even use it up to eight devices. So just check it out on how many devices yeah. you want. And if you're not sure, it's a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can just send it back. They'll give you your money back too. Send it back. Send it back. So um, again, guys, I use my VPN. Guess, uh, guess what I use my VPN on, dude? On my coverless, unprotected <laughs> iPhone 14 Pro. It Max. is protected, though. It's protected by Inside Express. It's protected, VPN. dude. But outside, yeah. it's not, dude. It's like I've no. taken it's where like, it counts. I've, it's like I've taken birth control and <laughs> herpes medication before. <laughs> Go out, dude. Mm-hmm. On my phone. It's well, protected, also so. speaking of protecting ad blocker built in straight into ExpressVPN, I yes. notice it more now because uh, when I connect to the VPN and I open up, you know, you know, like there's free apps, but they are use ads. Yep. Mm-hmm. All those apps don't play ads anymore. It's great. Uh, so nice. those are just normal apps now, and. Their password manager service, Keys, out of beta now. So now it's fully available. It's been fully vetted. So maybe you can what's, check it out. What's after beta? Is it C beta or is just full of, It's uh, uh, Alpha's before beta. So oh, so beta, Alpha's like before the, the testing. Yeah, Alpha is like we just barely built it. It's barely got functional. It, it. Beta is like, this is close to functional. Got uh, we just need to ch- check it out. And then, and then now and it's then C-word, public release. And then C word is, is technically fucking... in the Greek alphabet. Yeah. It's gamma next. Gamma. Uh, well, next. but in the American where we're from, dude, it's fucking C word. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie's yeah. next. Charlie. 
you bit yeah. my VPN. Uh, so again, uh, head on over at expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. And if you sign up for 12 months, they'll give you three months for free for a total savings of 49%. All right. Um, I, wait, before we go, a quick, this is not a bit. I just, I just wanted to point this out. Okay. Uh, when I put this wallet on the, the, what is this wallet called? The titanium, but what's the color called? I love this color. It's, it's like called astral. Astral is it's the like color. purple kind of, right? Yeah, it's like a blue with a purple undertone. Yeah. So I thought, oh my god, it's gonna get when I pulled it out of the box. I was like, it's gonna get my finger, my my fingerprints all over it, dude. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It doesn't. And I looked. No, no. Yeah, if, and like, it doesn't do that. Yeah, yeah. So like, I have a little OCD, and mm. like, I keep a bottle of cleaner. And yeah. a microfiber thing because I need to clean my keyboard and my my mouse like literally like four or five times a day. Really? Probably more. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cause of the of the grease. Oh. Okay. Same thing with my controllers for for gaming. That's why I bought my I didn't know this own controller. About you. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. And I mean that that makes sense though. It's just, I given yeah. I give I've given this to my kid as well. Cause like I'll tell him, Don't touch it, it's like greasy ass fingers. <laughs> I mean, so I, now- I you're you're <laughs> the person I learned of eating chips using chopsticks and i was like yeah, oh yeah. that's brilliant mm. oh so you don't way? get the, your yeah. little yeah, get like the yeah. Yeah, yeah and as marvin true. knows i also i still put on gloves when i handle my vinyl just because i don't that's like true the, yeah like you put on finger. gloves to remove your vinyls yeah. traditionally then- we should all wear gloves to, to bet uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> but it, that's not here another socks but, socks and gloves to bed yeah. yeah, and I thought, man, my finger grease is gonna get all over this thing. I'm gonna have to clean it every like day, dude. No grease on this wallet, dude. Yeah, it's interesting how it doesn't do that. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Is it maybe because it's matte, or maybe I want to say it's, it's witchcraft, a... <laughs> but I can't vouch for that. Well, you know who wasn't involved in witchcraft, Ricardo? Could you please tell us what happened in this episode? Well, I feel like Venom was a little witchcrafted. <laughs> She was also in uh, Pet Cemetery, which kind of is witchcraft in a way. Yeah, dude. She's all silly <laughs> with it, dude. I love witchcraft, dude. Give me a good old-fashioned Ouija board, dude. Um, <laughs> old-fashioned. Yeah, old-timey. Um, I, do you know what this, what this episode needed? Glenn Miller, dude. From the second times. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he should have been playing with the little that's instrument. That's sexy video. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah, so what I was saying. The xylophone. Cool. Bong, 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 bong. That only makes sense if people have seen that video. <laughs> <laughs> well, they know, they know the song. They know the song. <laughs> they know the song, but like this particular like usage of the bits kind I'll of put, slightly I'll, I'll off if on, you don't know. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll post it hopefully next week. What we're talking about. <laughs> hopefully. Um, all right. So this wizard comes on board and he is... Um, He's one of the races of, of people that have been at war forever. It feels like that's a lot of yeah. People. They do this a lot. <laughs> yeah, and they're like midway. Do- they're in the middle of Ubering him, but they need mm-hmm. to yeah. go Uber pool someone else. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 I am um, okay. So so this is interesting. Star Trek does this a lot. Like oh, this people and this people are at war, but turns out they came from the same Adam and Eve. You know what I mean? The same. Yeah. Place. You know what I mean? Yeah. They yeah, do like, this a like lot. the Vulcans they and do. the Romulans. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. They uh, do this a yeah. lot. Yeah. So these dudes, the same thing. They're both wizards. Uh, <laughs> only some of them like, look like Danny Elfman and some look like- Some wizards. of them look like Carrot Top. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> have you seen Danny, Danny Elfman? Danny Elfman in- <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're they're the same person. Well, yeah. He's a bit carrot toppy, I guess. Yeah, and so <laughs> this dude's like, "Oh, uh, thank you, Picard, for hosting this shit. Like, we're finally gonna have peace. Uh, but please, the thing I brought in into yeah. the cargo bay, make the sure thing. it's safe. And no one, it's like no super one goes in there. Yeah, super yeah. fragile. Yeah, super fragilistic. And he's yeah. like, also, just don't." have a lot of people going in there like only only like mm-hmm. absolutely necessary need personnel to know, yeah. need to know people on this yeah, yeah need to clean the fucking that bay um yeah, yeah, and yeah. so he's like oh well, we'll send in michael bay in fact we probably um, shouldn't just have it floating in the middle of it we should yeah, probably put a force yeah, field around it a little more than yeah that. <laughs> and my first thing my first thing is also look i i did say i, I like this episode and it's true but it does have a lot of foibles dude foibles. here's a, here's a, f- f- a couple of the things this happens a million times, dude. A million fucking times, dude. <laughs> Imme- immediately when he said, hey, watch out for that thing, the thing, Picard just said, well, <laughs> we've had incidents before, dude. Let's, <laughs> let's, let, look, you and I, he kind of looks like a like a weird old Doctor Strange. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Doesn't he? That's why I keep saying wizard. Yeah. He gives me a wizard vibe. Uh, so the wizard <laughs> says, the, I would have taken the wizard and been like, let's go in the bay. Let's take inventory of what's in here, dude. Yes. And then 
what and then would that you way, like? Should we should we protect it more than just yeah, have it float here? Yeah. <laughs> and, and and go in there and really assess it, dude. But yeah. he just like, oh, no worries, dude. We got this, dude. When like literally a couple of episodes ago, they blew the fucking hatch on one of the fucking bays and just blew yeah. everything out. Like, yeah. first of all, they should have said, hey, what bay is it? Is it the one we always blow things out of, dude? Yeah. It, it wasn't long there, ago that there was already it. a barrel accident in, in the, the cargo bay. <laughs> and it just <laughs> seems like they're and always they're always <laughs> bumping and, and, you know, the Enterprise is always hitting something. Yeah. Or the like, dampeners never work, dude. Yeah, they, yeah. They inertial, don't the inertial shit, dampeners dude. Yeah. don't. They're dampen. always being thrown yeah. around. Yeah, so. they're always sopping wet. Dude. The inertia yeah. is always so dry. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so they're like, "Oh, don't, no worries, Governor. Uh, everything's gonna be cool here." And so they're like, "Oh, okay, okay, that's fine." And so they get hailed by a. Oh, and then he shows them this room. He's like, "Oh, Jordy's been working on this room for for fucking ages, dude." Yeah. And it's this room that looks like the, their old temple. When they used to be one race together, right? You know what I mean, mm-hmm. I knew, I like that they knew Jordy was the the, the holodeck expert. They're, yeah, they're, they're He's like, like the, the wizards, like the the blind men. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's like, a, yeah, that's yeah. a really interesting thing that they gave that to Jordy as like his task. I guess he I, spends a lot like, of time in the holodeck. Yeah. That's why. Like, he he's knows, like the yeah. expert. He, yeah, yeah, dude. That's like <laughs> that. That's like our. That's like the gag bit thing to explain but we've yeah. also seen him actually manipulate the holodeck in real time when he was like investigating That's that true. thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. right. The, that was this has cool. my favorite my favorite all time holodeck joke so far. Oh, oh yeah. my god. Yeah, we'll get to it. Yeah, we'll get to it. Yeah, we'll get to it. 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 Yeah. It was Sarah and I literally paused to laugh. Yeah. It was amazing. I have to go back and watch it again. So Jordy's like check this out and then he opens up the holodeck and it looks like an old timey like Indiana Jones temple. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> and um, it kind of looks like the there's a show in Florida where it's like the 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 something of Atlantis uh, mm-hmm. at uh, at uh, Islands of Adventure, and it kind of look gives me that vibe. Mm-hmm. I, forgot it's, for, I forgot what it's called, the Seven Seas of Atlantis or some bullshit like that. It looks like they're trying to blend multiple cultures <laughs> into this one. It looks like this a, one you, room of yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like, um, we have do you guys like, remember when they used to have the Conan the Barbarian show at Universal Studios? No, I don't actually remember that. Oh no. my god, dude! I just dated myself. <laughs> uh, I remember Conan the Adventurer cartoon when you? No, nah, that's not it, dude. This is a full blown adventure, dude. <laughs> Listen, the, the oldest thing at Universal to me, and it's gone, is uh, Backdraft. Backdraft is no longer there. You, you guys, so you guys never saw the the uh, Battlestar Galactica thing? No, I never oh, saw that. Man. First time uh, I went to I'm Universal old, Studios Hollywood was when I was like in my mid twenties or the oh, most. Really? I remember as a kid, like yeah. the shockingly new thing was the Terminator experience. We were like, whoa. Wow. And then, oh, yeah. Okay. That was, they that had was real actors. Yeah. Yeah. It was okay. crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, no, I, I got to experience a lot of things that are. <laughs> um, all right. But my dad did take us very young. Like he was like, oh, fuck it. I love it. I love this place. I love uh, it. It's like the movies, you know? And it's like, yeah. We, we get Is it, that man. what he said? He's like, I love this place. It's like <laughs> yeah, the movies. <laughs> we would go at least once a year. Uh, That's great. That's awesome. Yeah. It's funny because. I wonder if Disneyland was expensive back then because we we would I could count the times we went to Disneyland as a kid. Disneyland was def- always the more always expensive, expensive part. right? Yeah, but we yeah. would always go to Knott's Berry Farm and Universal. Yeah, Studios Knott's is where I went a lot because Knott's yeah. was dirt cheap when I was young. Like, yeah, and if, if you, you took got, a Coke can, you got a, like a twenty five dollar discount. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and if you're a SoCal resident, you could a Coke can. Yeah, the, like, yeah, yeah, have yeah. Promotions on it. That was Six Flags. Mm. Oh, yeah, you're right. They would do both. They would do both. I don't both. really. Was it yeah, both? Yeah, yeah. But I, but but I remember, uh, like not ex- explicitly had SoCal discounts, and if you went in the middle of the week and you ditched. And you went to Knotts, it yeah. would be like ten dollars to get in. You're like, Great. yeah, it would be, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So they, they promoted great. ditching. I yeah, mean, yeah. they literally had to ban Edgar's recently. That's kind of racist. What? Ban what? Uh, they had to ban underage kids going in because there was a lot of like just like weird kids fighting. Yeah, they're like, oh, right. that's been fighting. a thing. Yeah. That's been a thing yeah. since the '80s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but just recently, they were like, eh, let's just so it happened again. Ban- it's, it's been yeah. like coming up so, again. Like, okay, they, they yeah. basically banned kids going without adults, and then yeah. they were like, yeah. oh, we're losing, we're losing too much money. We're gonna do away with. <laughs> and they, <laughs> I mean, they, that's a lot of Nazis' income. It's just kids yeah. going on their own. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> it's so cheap. cheap. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, so. They, they're like, all right, so this is a temple. And he's like, oh, it's great. And he's like, I just have a few more changes. But he's like, let me study my books in my quarters, and then I'll come back and give you notes. Which is stupid. Right. It's like, if it looks good to you, then then there's no notes. Then 
You know, you're just being. Yeah, and dude. and as we learn later, it's like he's he's actually the only one who really cares. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> so the didn't literally care. the only one who does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like it's like producers do nowadays. Oh, you do this like no no one cares. They need to, they and, need to have a note. You know. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're always just stupid. Uh, <laughs> I won't stand for the producer hate. Oh, wow. (laughs) We're awesome, okay? Uh, God damn it, dude. We're going to hell. I'm going to hell. Uh, All right. So so this guy had a bunch of notes. And they look perfect, by the way. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Perfect. And I'm sure Jordy was like, God damn it, dude. I spent so much time on the dude. (laughs) Now I'm going to change Why can't you just be okay with my V1? It's good. I did a good V1. Come on. (laughs) Uh, so th- so then he's like, all right, I'm, I'm going to go study these books and find more work for you to do. Because I couldn't find the, the imperfections <laughs> right now. So I he leaves. To, the wizard leaves. Busy work. Yeah. yeah, he leaves. And he's he's really old, by the way. Uh, this comes into play later. That but he's he's like a really play. old dude. And then literally Ferengi- two hundred years old. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then and then one of the Ferengi. Oh, I forgot. They they the Ferengi hailed them and they're like, "Oh, we're dying. Help us!" <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then literally, these dudes almost kill themselves. <laughs> To get yeah, saved. yeah. They, blew they almost hole. killed themselves to get some pussy. That's yeah. like what, that's so, basically, it's weird. Yeah, yeah. They, that's so understandable. They, <laughs> yeah, that is actually, especially if I'm okay. Yeah, one hundred percent. She is. Yeah. She is very, very yeah. attractive. Yes. So, so like, look, we gotta try. Yeah, the Frangie, <laughs> the Frangie were like, we gotta hey, shoot our shot here. Yeah, hey, <laughs> we're dying, dude. There's a hole in her fucking ship, and they roll up, and the, the hole's getting bigger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, get ready to pull them out. He tells he tells the transporter, yeah. um, who's now a lady I've never seen before, and I like that. Yeah, Switching they rotate, up, dude. Yeah. Different yeah, shifts, yeah. I love it. Yeah, Mal does a break. Yeah, dude, he's got he a was kid, off dude. This week, yeah, the maternal leave. Um, you know, daughter. He's got a kid. He almost killed himself. Um, <laughs> yeah, and- <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, for real. <laughs> so, so he goes. Um, I'll bring them over because it's gonna blow up. And so it blows up, and they they, they appear, mm. and then they're like, "All right, you guys have to go to these quarters and stay here." And then th- as soon as the door closes, he's like, mm, "That was so much easier than I expected." Like, <laughs> oh, nerf, nerf, nerf. <laughs> Um, Your Frankie nerf. voice is on point, by the way. <laughs> I'm just copying one of the Thundercats' voices. Yeah, schnarf. You're just doing snarf. Yeah, you're yeah. just yeah. doing snarf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lionel, I have a bad feeling about this. Snarf, snarf, snarf. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're going to get that metamorph. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just um, feel like, don't you feel like in this episode, the Frankie are extra hammy? Like... Extra, yeah, yeah, like yeah. They're, yeah. They're it feels more like they, they, they were acting. Seen. They were acting. They were acting. They were at least as hammy they're as acting. they've always been. Which at this point in the series lifetime feels worse. I think. I feel yeah. like it's so much more than I'm used to seeing. Like they were just th- so. I, and I think it's in like, it's just in weird. contrast to when the Frangi first show up in the show. The whole show is kind of wacky. So the mm-hmm. Frankie kind of matched the tone of the show being kind of throwback that's and wacky. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, but I now yeah. now the bit. show is like, for lack of a better word, more contemporary, I guess. And like yeah. the acting is more contemporary. So this weird like 60s style, weird, broad, I'm a crazy guy. Well, you acting. have them like, like no, there's not as much room for the camp. You have them like following, harassing. You know, like physically like go, like creeping up on people and like I mean doing, Jordy like, has to like muscle yeah, like, the friend yeah. away from <laughs> yeah the it's guy, it's, it's silly it's a very silly performance uh, yeah I guess maybe that's what I'm not used to because everyone in, else in the show is just so serious it's and so normal. unbelievable that they thought these were going to be the original antagonists of the show <laughs> like <laughs> And it's yeah, also it's, interesting it's that crazy. everyone refers to the Ferengi as like, like they don't have names. They just call them the Ferengi, you know? And they hate like, them immediately. Like Riker yeah, is like, put them in which, a room far, oh, Riker, f- yeah. away from yeah, mine. Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm not, <laughs> so, I'm not a hundred percent sure. So much. I'm not a hundred percent sure how I feel about that because it's like Riker especially is like, you know, get them far away from me. I hate them. Like they don't even (laughs) have names to me. They're just the Ferengi. Well, okay. To be fair to from Riker's POV, he is the one who's had the most direct negative dealings with them. Yeah. Uh, by yeah. this point, they try to rape him. Yeah, it's, um, it's interesting. Did they? I don't know how I feel about it. No, but. no, no. <laughs> well, well, no. But they, they, they were gonna they, they sexually assaulted Laksana. That's true. Mm-hmm. That'll yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was pretty. That's bad. the thing. I feel, we're, I feel we're like Riker was next, the, though. We're, we're still in the mode of science fiction slash fantasy style of storytelling where you can attribute 
like stereotypes to large races. Yeah. And to get away with it. Like that's how they still like, you know, and used then, to like, define the gold races. Stuff and just the constant obsession with like hustling and the gold and the Yeah. This and that. It's not great. It it's, sure is it's not bizarre. great. It's <laughs> bizarre. Um I know we've touched <laughs> but, on it before, but it's it's strange. But, but also but like they, they like ever they, was. they like big booty same ladies as, ever was. as well. So yeah, like yes. you know, what, they're what like, race what race doesn't like big booty ladies? Yeah. So. They're like, we love gold, but we <laughs> yeah. love we love the ladies. Yeah. More yeah. Than we will give up all of this gold for yeah. Fob K. Johnson. They probably they're probably <laughs> they're probably dudes that like to watch uh videos of ladies working out. <laughs> you know? Why are we into her? She's clothed. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Uh, she's got clothes on. Maybe, but true. she's that attractive. She's so yeah. attractive that she's even with clothes on. Narf, narf, narf. <laughs> um, so he's like, oh, ambassador. So so anyway, the, the wizard comes out of the holodeck and one of the Ferengi escapes his room. Yeah. And the other one, the other one's in the fucking in the in the bay, in the cargo bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Ferengi's like, oh my God, it's true. The ambassador, blah, 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 blah. And he's and he's like, <laughs> he's like, is it true that, that there's gonna be a truce? And he's like basically already trying to pitch, like, oh, there's more, there's more, there's more uh there's more money when there's peace because there's more people to trade with. Unless you're into right. the arms trade, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, uh, and then unless you're America. <laughs> this dude, I know. Do you guys watch uh, I Think You Should Leave? Yeah, I've seen. I, I've, yes, yes. There's, have you seen the bit where they're like, we got to figure out how to make money off of this. There's yeah, just yeah, too yeah. much. <laughs> There's a great <laughs> meme where it's like Israel and Palestine and it's the meme where it's like, yeah, yeah, exactly, there's too much yeah. money in this. We really yeah, exactly. Yeah. God damn it. Well, that's oh, literally... God. Yeah, but that's okay. literally you it's read like, Forbes like magazine. US, that's yeah. literally what's happening. Yeah. Like, the U.S. Uh, is like, we gotta get involved. There's literally an article this. that was written: how to diversify your portfolio based on the current conflicts in Palestine. Oh and you're my like, god! Jesus Christ! Yeah, <laughs> fucking hell, man! I don't, I don't want to live on Earth anymore. Please. I don't even want to have that in this podcast. Ew. Uh, ew. Ew, just, ew, ew. Ew. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So anyway, so so these guys are like, ah, we, you know, like uh, we're into trade. Meanwhile, this is other in the cargo bay, and I don't. I, so why I, is so, he? Why is he making this weird platform out of barrels? I know. Why I, can't he just like, go up to it? Why does he even need the barrels? <laughs> exactly. Like, that's what I'm saying. He doesn't like, even need but, that. But also, so like, so later we find out that he knocks over a barrel, and then like the one of the another tripods, barrel accident. God and, damn and, it! Yeah, and, and, these fucking like, barrels. <laughs> one of the one of the gold tripod legs, uh, yes. beams, like it, it falls over. <laughs> so why why not just knock it over from the beginning? I don't understand their fucking plan. Well, this I don't heist, think they wanted to this knock heist it over. Is stupid dude. I have zero what, idea. I, I don't understand what they're trying to do. So is is it that the Ferengi knew that this lady well, they, thing would they be didn't know about on? The lady. They knew about the lady, at and least. they knew, and that's they planned the whole ship I have malfunction no idea. thing to be no, on there. I, well, they planned that. Yes, they planned. The, and so they the, wanted to be here to. Yes, they want poke Jean the Grey. egg out to get her to be. I have no they, idea. They, I don't know love, what the, they the love cargo bay plan. I have no idea what they were planning to do. It looked like maybe all he wanted to do a scan but i don't know why he would need you to scan he, by you, you think he wanted a weird science their own lady back home maybe uh, I, I i don't know but they, they were like doing, study the metamorph to try yeah, to yeah. Clone a metamorph and, another egg. And, yeah but again he doesn't need to stand on the barrel yeah, i have like, no idea oh, you don't understand no Sarah. these guys are short kings dude <laughs> <laughs> they, they the want to fucking... look good they want to look nice yeah. and tall for her yeah <laughs> so so they, he puts up oh, barrels so to because he's a short king and he's trying to like <laughs> <laughs> scan it from above it's I guess a manlet. <laughs> and then I guess Riker tells somebody tells somebody like hey where the fuck is the other Ferengi let's fucking figure this out and then yeah. Worf rolls up in there and he's like hey what the fuck's going on and he's like oh what he does a whole cartoon fucking slip yeah and he kicks and he one like, of the barrels his leg doesn't his leg kick the egg open yeah. or something kicks it his, open. his leg kicks a barrel and then the barrel yeah. rolls oh, into the, the, the light beam. Bar- okay if you look at it though i don't think it even touches it to be honest like it just touches the one of the legs the, tripod. Or the floating yeah. leg thingies that's it it touches one yeah. of it's them. that fragile How and that? that's enough to make gravity make it tumble over and then okay but you know what i'm gonna criticize Worf here Worf was very slow to act when yeah he, he didn't do anything yeah i was like why are you standing so far back why are you asking him questions like tackle this Frank immediately why are you just looking at him like I don't understand why Worf and the whole team is just tired staring <laughs> and I'm like do your job go get him phase him immediately <laughs> he seems and just mesmerized by the egg he just watches the egg um, there's a there's a, a, a lady that's behind Worf back mm-hmm. and to the right 
Oh, yeah, <laughs> she looks and like she's, she's very the cozy. She, she's like very she's she's like seduced by the egg a little bit. She's like, oh, I think they all yeah. are. They're all kind of being like, oh, oh the yeah. Moon. What is this, dude? What is it? Maybe oh, they were egg? told by the director about like the deal with the metamorph, and yeah, but they didn't realize that she wasn't out yet. Yeah, yeah they just like, oh. shot in my head. Look, if I'm if I'm making like a, a, my my storyline for this one, those two in the background have hooked up. Mm. The, sure, the dude and the girl. I, yeah. I, my oh, they're like this is like a lower decks yeah, story yeah, where yeah, it's yeah. like the, they're the two they're security actually, people and they're hooking up, and then yeah. finally they they take away the Ferengi and the Ferengi's like, oh my, this isn't this is a misunderstanding. I thought I was the one in a barber. Mm. Yeah, and, then, and he he doesn't even have hair. Uh, he's yeah, got, yeah, just those those I butt cheeks. I mean, yeah. I guess that's supposed to be a joke, cheeks. but it's like, yeah. God, what a, what an annoying guy. Yeah, and then the lady Riker's in the back there. kind of reminds me of Cynthia Rothrock a little bit, but uh, yeah, dude, but not, she likes not. the rock. Uh, and then the wizard's like, "Oh no, what's happening?" Uh, oh no, sorry, Picard's like, "What's happening?" And the wizard's like, "Oh no, the emergence. It's gonna get sexy up in here, dude." <laughs> Uh, everyone yeah, he's like, down hold, on, yeah. hold on, yeah. hold on, everyone. You guys he's are like, going to feel something tingly. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then for the rest of the episode, it's everyone just struggling to control their boners. That's like yeah, kind yeah. of the theme the wizard, of the whole. <laughs> the wizard's like, oh, it's going to be like 1999 again. It's like when the Thong Song was released. Um, <laughs> oh my so, God, you're right. Yeah, Thong, thong Song strongly yeah. correlates with the Y2K phenomenon because yeah, it came dude. out at the same time. They were yeah. in a hysterical mood, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because they're all horned up yeah, and they yeah. didn't know what to do with their computers. They're like, should we throw them away? No. Should we fuck them? What should we do? Yeah. <laughs> Don't sh- Do not shoot your computers, people. <laughs> <laughs> so many people like threw away their computers, set them on fire. My, my <laughs> uncle. I remember all the stuff that was marketed as Y2K safe. And yeah, Y2K yeah, 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 yeah. I have, a, uh, I have a funny oh God, yeah. story. They would be so selling like microwaves that said Y2K compliant. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I remember Amazing. walking into Sears with my dad and being like, this is an oven. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um, I have an uncle and he was, he's really cheap and he hadn't been in a vacation in years because he refused to spend money. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And when the Y2K thing came along, he's like, this is my time to shine. And he went to, he went to, he went to the, back then you were still using kind of like travel agents to set up your, oh, yeah, especially if yeah. you're doing package. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it wasn't like, everything wasn't online yet. And um, he my went. My mom still uses somebody. a travel agent actually. So. Really? Yeah. Yeah. They're still yeah. in business? Yeah. Travel uh, agents are still like, thing. Yeah. And she's like, hey, what are the deals for Y2K? And they're like, let me <laughs> oh tell you what. God, There's so yeah. many deals, yeah, man. So many oh, fucking deals. What a genius. No one wanted to travel. <laughs> That's really good. And actually. He went, That's so he went, smart. He like scheduled it from Christmas because oh. he didn't he didn't celebrate Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so since before Christmas till uh, like way after the new year and they genius. gave him such a good deal. He basically, they basically went for free, dude. That's genius. Because That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. No one, no one wanted to take flights. No one. Yeah. And he, he actually booked, because he went to two locations. He booked mm-hmm. one of the flights on New Year's Day. So mm-hmm. he'd get a wow. even bigger discount. Because people Baller. were like, don't fly. People were like, we don't want to yeah. fly. The plane's yeah. going to fall out of the sky. <laughs> yeah. Well, people were really thinking it was going to be that crazy. Yeah. I know. So and anyway, then well, nothing happened. And it was... Very Technically, a few banks had to wait a few hours to allow transactions to happen again. That was about it. So <laughs> that was that was their own fault. It was Wells Fargo. And that was, was their Fargo, fault. They needed to upgrade and they're their systems money. fast enough. Uh, so. Allegedly, Wells Fargo <laughs> steals money. Allegedly, they do. Allegedly, allegedly. allegedly even though do. there's a lot of documentaries and yeah, evidence yeah. about yeah. it. Allegedly, allegedly, yeah. Allegedly, allegedly <laughs> they, they're pieces of shit fucking bank. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Um, anyway, they're not going to be a sponsor, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is sponsored by Wells Fargo. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Kill me! Criminals for over a century, <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, um, allegedly, allegedly. For sure, since before you know, before Y two K. All right, <clears throat> so uh, uh, Jean Greg pops out of the egg, dude, and yeah. immediately, immediately, Riker's horned up. Everybody's horned up. Oh, everyone! Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. like this Every- is just Riker's, Riker's time. Riker's face is yeah. like whoa. Yeah, Riker's like. I mean, the viewers are all horned up too. Ooh. They're like yeah. whoa. Riker, I never seen this this because look when Riker's like oh he sees a sexy lady it's uh-huh. a big old grin yeah but yeah. if you notice his his thing he's like like he like he's yeah. so like scared yeah, yeah. He's, what the he's fuck? Like, so sexy what the hell <laughs> yeah I mean she probably yeah. is. At, at by this point in the show, maybe the most attractive person to show up in the show. 
Oh, for Ever? sure. And, and you see, so. you we'll see talk, everybody no, well, well, scanning well, well, well. her body. Hold up, like, hold up, you know, hold it's up. It's crazy. Ro is pretty good looking, and so is uh, yeah. Tasha. I Tasha's think, sister is pretty I good looking. Fomgy, though, is Tasha's, oh, okay. Is, yes, yeah. but I'm just saying, like top yeah. three, top three. You know what I mean? yeah, 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 we can say that. Sure. We can say that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's so, also true. Even when Ro's sister showed up, Shara, everyone was also looking at her camel toe like the whole time. So. Yeah. Was, yeah. This, uh, this yeah. actually kind of relates to you know how I've I once said that like I had history with this episode because it was one of, like yes, I think yes. actually it might be the very first episode of TNG that I saw from start to finish. Oh, oh wow! I thought, oh. I thought this was going to be a different different story. I thought you were going to say this was the first uh, on air uh, show that I masturbated to. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no. Yeah. No. I was close though. Not not close. Um, That's a blue girl. <laughs> on air? <laughs> yeah, like, like, over the air. like over the air show. I haven't oh, actually yeah. even seen <laughs> okay. But shout outs to that one commenter who said they have all of it. Yeah, that, um, <laughs> actually, I have the whole collection. <laughs> yeah, but it was a gift to him from that military friend who had to give him his, all of his work <laughs> away if we went off to, if we got chipped away. Come yeah, on. So yeah, she's got to use it. So, yeah. yeah see, see, see? Looking out for um, you, dude. Guys. She's really attractive. And I just well, hold on. I want to say that like her. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I didn't finish my story. Oh yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. What's your story? The masturbation story. Go for it. So uh, the people who showed it to me were already fans of TNG, and these were oh. friends from high school. Mm. Oh. Okay. And the, the way they presented to me, yo, Jean Grey is, is in this, and she's really hot. <laughs> oh. Mm. Okay. So that's how they introduced it. It's true, me. though. She is in it. She's very attractive in the episode. I was like, it's, yeah, it's just really hot in this episode, guys. Oh, interesting. You were right. And that's and that's why they wanted to show it to you? They're like... Well, I mean, of course, they're also like it. into TNG and stuff. Yeah. And it, I think it was just like a comfort show. Just just putting it on while hanging out. It's, it's a good episode. I love her dress. I want it. Her costumes in general um, are great. I yeah. am going to look online later and see if I can find <laughs> somebody. <laughs> That's what the kind of that fabric's made out of. It's like yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah I love the color. Cool. I love everything about it. I love this dress. It's it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That's my two cents. And whatever leopard spots she's got going on, beautiful. I love the uh the like what is it? Cheetah leopard little Yeah, it's like cheetah spots. Yeah, almost. it's like yeah. Little, you like that head thing. The, they got <laughs> the little they got the little like face tattoos going on. Love it. On yeah, the side of yeah. their faces, the like Cat yeah, Von D style. Little reptile scales. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even though Cat Von is not a great person, but <laughs> she's got like the little stars on the side. Right, right. Um, um yeah. She wasn't she like an anti vaxxer and like yeah, uh, yeah. A Nazi? She's an anti vaxxer. Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly, yeah. allegedly. And she allegedly. moved to Indiana. Yeah. She's allegedly, hardcore alleged. conservative. That's what and makes her bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And she she's recently like, is, out of all the states, yeah. she's like, I could forgive the, I could forgive her being a Nazi, but Indiana, she crossed the line, <laughs> yeah, dude. That's yeah. it. Voluntary We're done. movement to Indiana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, Reggie Miller is a bastard. <laughs> and I think now she's like a born Pacers. again, she's like a born again Christian or something. Like she's uh, getting rid of like yeah. all of her occult stuff, and like I wouldn't be surprised if she like lasers her whole body or something. Yeah. You know what's like funny? Removing tattoos yeah. or something. It's not funny. I guess it's just, Weird. this is probably going to get a lot of people mad at me, but every time I hear born again Christian or similar, I kind of go, ah, so you're not a real. <laughs> yeah. You're a new one. You're a new one. <laughs> it doesn't, you didn't grow up with it or anything. So it doesn't yeah. really matter. Newly minted. <laughs> they just changed their moniker, dude. Like newly minted or something, you know? Yeah. Newly minted. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, uh, so anyway, so this hot chick, dude. I prefer refurbished Christian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that. It yeah, makes Apple it, refurbished yeah. Christian. It makes it <laughs> yeah. like, more valuable. Certified. Yeah. So, so he, certified so refurbished. Gray, yeah. He he's like, oh, Jean Grey, meet John Luke Picard. <laughs> yes, uh, exactly. Meet me, and, Professor. Well, Xavier. meet Professor X. Well, that yes. too. Yes. Um, but if you notice the background, Riker can't stop looking at her, dude. Oh yeah. Riker's like everyone's mm -hmm. staring. Yeah. Everyone can't stop. Inside, yeah. outside, they're shocked, but inside, they got that that wolf from the fucking mask. <laughs> like, oh, God, oh, exactly. God. Yeah, yeah, you know, like I kept imagining with chest. like the the heart and the eyes yeah. going out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That's kind of um, and just howling. Um, <laughs> so she's like, "Oh my God, uh, lactose or whatever the other guy's name is." And he's like, "No, this isn't lactose. He's Captain John Luke Picard." And and then she's like, "Oh, but I could sense that he was important, you know." Mm -hmm. And like, she's basically like a chameleon, dude. Like she'll mm -hmm. she'll mold to any dude's she's a metamorph desire. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yes, uh, she's a sexomorph. 
a xenomorph. <laughs> um, One thing I thought was an interesting detail is that they said there's actually tons of male metamorphs. Yeah. So I'm actually curious to know what a male metamorph would act like. In they, this look like they look like they look like. It made me wonder: Are they saying that the wizard guy was himself a male metamorph? They don't or, say that. No, I don't think so. I think, I think, could be. I think they I, just I, exist. He's I think a born again, again metamorph. He's a born again metamorph. <laughs> <laughs> they're just far more common than the yeah. female. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. they're just yes. more, yeah. more common that they're male. Yeah, yeah. Dude. yeah. I think that's okay. what they're saying. Yeah. Kind of like 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 female orange cats, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, okay. So anyway, uh, he's like, oh, there's a there's a bunch of dudes that that are just made for pleasure, Jigaloo Joes, you know, uh, <laughs> but not ladies. And, and ladies come one in a million, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, immediately uh, he's like, well, let's. She shouldn't have been out, uh, and she, she, she let's send her to her room, please. Uh, she can't be out, dude. It's gonna get you know. It's going to get whappy in here. You know what I mean? Wappy. Um, <laughs> wappy. <laughs> yeah. And so it, it, they're like, okay. And then immediately she's into like fucking, she's talking to fucking Riker and, and he's fucking mesmerized. Yeah. Um, and then he's like, oh, this explains the Ferengi's interest. You know what I mean? Like, cause they're all, but they do also dogs. have a, they, they kind of go, wait, your property. Yeah, oh, yeah. You don't they like have that. a little, they yeah. balk yeah. a little bit at this, like, you know, development. They're like, wait, yeah. wait what? He, He's like, you had a lady here in the fucking, in the cargo bay. And then she has a beautiful walk, dude. Jean Grey does. And mm-hmm. uh, he walks her uh, to her room. And then he, he goes inside and he almost fucked up, dude. He almost fucked up, dude. She immediately kisses him, like, yeah. right away. And yeah. she's like, oh, oh, this scene's so hot. I yeah. love the tension. Sarah, calm down, dude. <laughs> so calm good. down, dude. I love it. Yeah. She she basically says, hey, I'm an empath and I know you're all horned up and you love She goes, I know dude. that you yeah. like to get straight to the point. Yeah. So she, yeah. that's what she's doing. And she yeah. goes in and he's like, well, you know, like, uh, he does a stupid thing where, like, <laughs> I do this a lot when I do this a lot for comic effect, but I do it a lot. Okay. <laughs> so like when you're in a place and it's really awkward or you're like a restaurant, and, like there's a couple fighting or like you're at work and something is awkward. Uh-huh. I just start pulling Talking out paying things. attention to like the environment and the forks and everything. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you start going like, Oh my God, is this PVC pipe here? <laughs> I wonder what gauge these piping is. There. Is it is it industrial or is it? When do you think that was the last time they yeah. painted the ceiling? Yeah, because you know, and uh, you start just asking like random questions about your environment. <laughs> You're like, yeah, yeah. I wonder if this paint is up to code. Is this lead paint? Uh, <laughs> and that that you would never ask, and you or you don't yeah. care. But and Riker starts doing this. He's like, anyway, yeah. these machines here, uh, we got just kind of yeah, installed. Do you want, do you, have you used a replicator? Do yeah, you want food? Replic- do you want some mm-hmm. Oreos? Well, you're you from. Uh, do they do all the hot women just order Oreos, or do they make them? <laughs> <up>? <laughs> what's your What's your home address again? Uh, <laughs> and and and, he, and then she immediately kisses him. She immediately kisses him. Dude. Oh yeah, and he's very into it. And he's like, oh, he boy. is like about to like fall into a pit. You can see it in his yeah. eyes. Yeah, his eyes roll back in his head, and he's like, I need to back off now. You know, yeah. I, I, well, they kiss <laughs> twice. There's a second. They, they go yeah. for another one, and it's yeah, even. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. I really, go at it I, even have, harder. I have a question for the group. Like, I don't know. Part of me is like, this is such a trope of like, okay, oh know, yes, this extremely hot woman, and all the guys are just they can't control themselves. You know, it's just like boner city. It's you know, you kiss them. I, and I think, I like think the, 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 the right term is bone town. Yeah, bone town, right? <laughs> yeah. Bone town, tent city, whatever you want to call yeah. it. Um, yeah. but it's Boneropolis. just <laughs> yeah, Boneropolis. Like, does that happen in real life? Is 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 like I feel like Riker like boner is, jam. Oh. Has Sunday, there ever Sunday, been a Sunday, woman, Sunday, a woman that you've kissed? I mean, I don't think any none of you have kissed her. But Jean Grey Johnson? No. Well, we don't know yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you would feel similarly, but I just feel like it's so like Riker's it looks like he's like seen all the answers to the universe when he <laughs> kisses her. Like it's just like he's just like wow. Like, and I'm like, as, does that a, ever can, happen? Like, I, I've never personally experienced that, can, but maybe it's just. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you get kissed as, by Famke Jansen. Yeah, dude. Yeah, okay. as a person circa 1992. Done, I assume as a person who's done the most drugs in this podcast, <laughs> uh, I can probably guarantee I have. Um, <laughs> I can say that it feels like like when you do a new drug for the first time. That's the mm. look he's giving. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like where yeah. you're like, oh, where you're fuck. doing it for the first time. Yeah. You you're like, your virginity. Damn. 
Angel Dust yeah. is very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> or um, I, my, for me, what I was thinking is that she is literally giving off a pheromone that they have never experienced before. And they're yes, yes. all mm. being like, it's, holy it's, shit. It, it's, it's literally the, like a, like a drug. X gene, they, it, the X yeah. There's like, mm-hmm. there's mm-hmm. literally mm-hmm. some sort of drug she's putting yeah. in. So the you air. don't think that that's anything that we've experienced here, like on earth. Like she is because she's otherworldly. She's able to turn it up to a degree. Yeah. That yes. She, oh, yeah, she's yeah. literally, yeah. you yeah. have, you have never been in this presence, the presence of this. Okay. okay. Have you been to, uh, have you been to a casino in Las Vegas? Yeah, of course. Many. You know how it's euphoric when you're walking around, you're like, yeah. Oh man, I, there's I, lights. There's you're like, just... you're like Sarah, you're talking to yourself. And you're like, Sarah, you're a good gambler. You should sit the fuck down. <laughs> you know, like you start I thinking, am. I have done like, that. <laughs> see, <laughs> I've been, her, I've I've been with her when money. she's been. I've uh, gambled yeah. my money, Marvin's money, everyone's money. <laughs> the, the, the yep. her vagina yeah, exudes no. that. Her vagina <laughs> exudes that. That, that, that stuff. You know it's I mean? it's just interesting. I just wonder if anyone has experienced this type of euphoric feeling. Okay, you know what? I can drugs. predict. Without I can drugs. predict that yeah, there's going to be plenty of comments and accounts from people listening to this who will yeah. say, "Absolutely, I've fallen yeah. in love like that." Wow. Well, I guess because I'll bet I that there are people far more romantic than we are. Yeah, but I'm I also not, think I'm not a that. Person. But I think that this is literally like an impossibly attractive scenario because of like she's presented as like like the ultimate sexual creature. So I, I think right. it's like yeah. beyond. It's in the realm of fiction. The the way sure. he reacts, like it's not so, attainable can, can, in normal life. Yeah, that's what that's the way I view <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. and why you, like even though you would have these, to are, these are Starfleet officers, right? Yeah. They're supposed to be like stoic and like controlled and knowing what they're doing. Look how Picard's but, acting. Yeah, Picard is having trouble, like. <laughs> You know, so uh, it's, I mean, it's, but it's, maybe like, it's maybe he, it's possible. I mean, you hear about people that have like when he's drinking his tea, know, he's shaking. He's like, he's like, girl, girl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's yeah. got the shakes. Yeah, in general. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to say something. You said something. Dan said, like, we're, we're not too romantic here. And I want to say something. A story that yeah. I uh, that I happened to me um, just about two weeks ago. Okay, me three. <laughs> um, we went to take family pictures. Uh, uh-huh. My 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 sister in law's family, my family, my 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 father and mother in law, we're all taking, and we took the, a collective picture, and then like couples, and so like a lot of a lot of different like setups, right? Right, mm-hmm. and right. They got as you my do, wife as you do yeah, in these functions. Yeah. yeah. So they got to my wife and I. By the way, previous to us, it was my my sister in law and my brother in law, and mm-hmm. and the photographer's like, I enjoy shooting you guys. Like it's just so fun. You guys are great. I can mm-hmm. overhear them, overhear him saying that. <laughs> And then like he's not gonna be one of the best fo- better subjects I've ever yeah. had. You're oh. so photogenic and like just compliments up the wazoo, dude. And I had been practicing for like a week. I had to practice for like my wedding too, because I don't I don't like to smile. <laughs> I laugh. Practice. Like if you make me laugh, uh-huh. I'll genuinely laugh. But you have to make me laugh and then I'll smile. Not to not to joke. pose. You don't yeah. pose. But I don't yeah. pose on command. In fact, I, I don't like it because mm. never have you looked back at pictures and been like, look at these people smiling, having a good time. They're all all the cool pictures. Just be, mm-hmm. quiet, just be normal, dude. Just no. Why did why did we choose that smiling <laughs> is is, is is the 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 stock version of a picture? We don't know. Cheese. We're not always having fun here. You know what I mean? Yeah. So <laughs> we're not always yeah. having fun. Here. So we, <laughs> we agree with that. right? I do. I don't, unlike a vacation or something, I do generally much prefer candid photography. Yeah. Though. To, uh, or, or even if we're going to take a picture yeah. like posed, let's just be ourselves. Why are we going fucking let's smile? We're having fun here. Let's just no, do like, our, our blue, f- uh, our stone just face regular, or whatever. Just be called. regular. Like if, yeah. if you, if you naturally smirk, then naturally smirk. If you don't, if you, if you have a resting bitch face, let it bitch. You <laughs> know what I mean? Yeah. Let that, let and, that face and bitch so off. It was my, it was my wife's nice turn. And so he, he poses, he's like, you here, you here. And then he, he snapped the couple and my full blown <laughs> smile is like um, a minor grin. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, oh, oh, yeah. like <laughs> but people don't understand that. And, and like my, yeah. my family now has, because known like, oh, that's a full blown smile, dude. He's, he's trying with all his face, dude. And in fact, he's, he's shaking from trying yeah, to hold this. I've, I've been like, my face is hurting for so much. Money. And then they've been like, oh, you're not smiling, God. my man. You're not smiling. Um, but <laughs> I, like, I genuinely, my face hurts. Yeah, I am but, smiling. But genuinely from my heart, I was smiling. Mm. Dude. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm. You just and brought many, back so yeah. a little bit of childhood trauma for me. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, mm. This is adult trauma for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so he says something that I'm sure because I wasn't looking exactly. I was only hearing when my when my sister uh-huh. and brother in law were taking pictures. 
but I assume they did a kiss picture, you know, where they're yeah. kissing. Uh-huh. Yeah. And and he says, the photographer says, are you, are you, are you guys the kissing type picture like uh, people? Oh. And I immediately go, no. And he's, <laughs> like, he's like, he, he didn't miss a beat. He's like, got it. And he just got, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got it. Like, You're like, I'm like, <laughs> he's a pro. So he's a pro. Yeah. So he's like, got, it, got it. No worries. Exactly. Got it. Yeah. Oh I know. God, I now know so your, funny. your ability to what you can do and can't do. Yes. You set the mood for me. <laughs> Yeah, oh um, God, but I thought funny. that was really funny, and it reminded me of this. Dan was like, "Some of us aren't that romantic in here," and I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't do kissing pictures." Hey, too. man, for all you know, you did that you photographer that. a favor by not having him need to be on high energy for your shoot. It's like, oh, thank mm-hmm. God, I can just like just take pictures. Yeah, I'm like, just take a, <laughs> just snap it away, dude. I'm I'm we're fine, dude. <laughs> sorry, to, sorry to bring back the trauma, Dan. <laughs> no, no, no worries, no worries. <laughs> Um, I mean, but it's anyway, very real. But yeah, I mean, the, just picture days are stupid. That's all. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. The, that's and now reminds and, me of something that happened as a kid. Well, no, but, but see, I, I, I was glad, I was gladly there because it'll give somebody else joy and 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 uh, 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 fine. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm I'm, yes. I'm yes. cool with that. It's just that know that I'm giving 100 percent effort here. Even yeah, like, it doesn't like, look like it. Like when we're on vacation, Sarah likes to take selfies with us. And if it wasn't for Sarah wanting to take selfies, I probably would never be smiling. <laughs> uh, you barely it, smile in those too. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it looks yeah. painful because <laughs> it's, it's just <laughs> unusual for me. Like I don't take selfies, so it's just no. like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do it for you. So I love yeah. a good selfie. Yeah, we. Um, yeah, I mean. I don't know. I I think it's interesting. I I want to believe that we can experience this type of like seeing what Riker and Picard are experiencing with this lady. I'm like, Not just I feel like I'm missing out. Every guy, every guy ex- yeah. is is experiencing this. Even war. I, f- yeah, I feel like I I'm yeah. I feel like I'm missing out as a as a level. Like you know, like when you you get like. <laughs> There's the argument of like, you know, getting circumcised or whatever. Feel like, <laughs> where is this going? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure where you're going with this. Yeah. What argument? I think yeah, I know there's where a, you're there's like, the oh, don't, don't, that, get, don't, know, get, don't get don't get circumcising yeah. somebody is robbing them of like future pleasure. Yeah. And like, you know what I mean? Like you're you're kind of like equating it to like, I don't know, like female mutilation. And then this re- yeah. That really is. And like to things this. like that. So- well, I, I, I'm bringing I'm wrapping it back around okay, to okay. the pleasure level of like how people are able are you the different that, levels of people experience are you saying pleasure. that someone circumcised you somehow <laughs> yeah. and you're not able to no, feel the maximum Dan, 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 potential no, 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 no. 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 I'm wondering saying, but I don't know you'll never Riker, know Riker like, I don't know is what she's saying I don't know. I'm just saying that, like, maybe there are levels that of of pleasure that we as humans haven't accessed. You I know, mean, there, there are people that can like orgasm, like I don't know, fifty times in a like row. Sting, sting, like, dude. You know, like I don't know, like that seems pretty cool to me. Like I don't know. <laughs> well, like, well, Ricardo, if, if Ricardo is to painful, be believed. But- <laughs> If Ricardo is to be believed, then basically all you need to do is take some angel dust and you'll yeah. feel you a feel similar I was about to pleasure. suggest drugs myself, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it, I'm serious. That, that, that's as close as, like... <laughs> I mean, and that's, I've, that's, and I've, that's I've, why, I've done, I've and done that's things why? under the influence, and yeah, it does bring it up a no, level, not, but I'm not, I'm saying, like not to this Sarah, level, though. I'm not even saying having sex under the influence. I'm talking about doing... Just, just in general. Just, just, doing just sitting on the couch. Yeah. 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 Um, and that's well, why I've never done yeah. heroin. Maybe. Um, <laughs> maybe, that's, maybe that's what I'm missing, then. Maybe that's yeah. what it is. You've you're never missing done heroin. drugs. We're missing drugs. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's the drugs. I don't know. Tell me if you're listening. Do I need to do heroin? No, no, no. <laughs> for the comment. record, newbie Star Trek doesn't necessarily no, condone no. using drugs all day, all the time. Allegedly, no, allegedly, no, allegedly no, we're not no, using no. drugs. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. allegedly we're not. Use at your at right your now. pace, yeah, however dude. you want. But yeah, um, I don't know. I'm just all this to you're, say is Sarah, I'm just Sarah, curious Sarah, about human your body, pleasure. That's your body, all your I'm choice? curious about. Your body, your choice. Your body, your choice. Your body, your circumcision, dude. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, no, I mean, I I just know that there are people out there. Like, I know people who have tried to like grow back their their like foreskin. I don't, I don't think stuff. you can, dude. I think, I think it, you that's can. A, it's a one way. I think that, that you seems, can. That's, I don't know how possible that is. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. You can Google it, but just make sure to put on a VPN. I don't think but, I'll Google that <laughs> unless I turn yeah. on Express VPN. <laughs> yeah. The best VPN for circumcision <laughs> searches. I only say this because I knew somebody who was in the process. Of growing back. Oh, was okay. this a close person mm-hmm. to you? Yeah. Yeah. Very close. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. 
Did they have a no. charity where they 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 had people it's like, like GoFundMe for group? their for their yeah. foreskin? Yeah, <laughs> they're in the process of growing it back in pursuit of higher pleasure. Oh, yeah, really? Who took it? Was it extra? Yeah, 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 dude. <laughs> yeah. classic extra, dude. Uh, way to way to circle it all together. <laughs> I thought you were about to say where to circumcise it all together. Yeah. <laughs> since we're since we're on the topic, since we're on the topic, I'll, I'll say this. I'll say this. <laughs> It surprises me that we live in this day and age and in this, like, I'll say it the way I, I want to say it, in this liberal society where they're mm-hmm. like, you, my body, my choice, but most my body, my choice, women that have kids are circumcising their kids, mm-hmm. Yeah, which is like, let me mutilate you. Mm-hmm. Also, look into this. Look into this. Are they really anesthetizing kids before they do it? Look into that. Mm, probably see, not. See what pops up. See what pops up. Oh. Uh, Just put on the VPN, please. Yeah, put on a VPN. Yeah. Wow. Um, all right. So uh, Beverly's having uh, breakfast or lunch or yeah, something. Yeah, it's, it's, it's their usual breakfast they have with, with yeah, each other. Yeah, do they have like a daily breakfast together? I think they have I like a weekly. Daily, I think it's like weekly. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. They, they definitely seem like they do this a lot. Yeah. 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 And And... And Picard is buttering angry. his croissant very aggressively. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, he's like, I spent time with her, and and he's like, he's like, really putting. I don't know if it's jam or whatever, but he's he's really going to town. Yeah, on yeah, yeah. he's fucking angry. Dude. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, he's like talking don't tell me how to butter my biscuit. Beverly. Yeah, don't tell me. And and she's like, I think I think she's a whore. You know? <laughs> I think she's a whore. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, yeah. we skipped over the best part. Okay, when Riker exits oh, from yes. his make out oh, session, yeah, sorry. I'm so sorry. Make out session with with yeah. Jean Grey. He goes, "Okay, uh, Bridge, I'm gonna be in holodeck four because <laughs> yeah, he's I'm, so I'm, horned up." <laughs> yeah, but but also very responsible. He makes yes, sure it's yeah. known where he's going. Yeah, and you he, know, just in case yeah. anything comes and up. And he knows that he's so pent up, he needs to get rid of this. He needs yeah. to rub yeah. one out like, immediately. Like, no, like not, not, he didn't wait for mm-hmm. his, his like dedicated time off from yes. work. He's like, he's like, he's like, this is actually like, a medical emergency. He's like, sick I need day, to sick day, <laughs> sick day, sick day. <laughs> he's like, I gotta go. And like right before he says that, he like wipes the lipstick off his. Yeah, lips, yeah, yeah. And he's yeah, like, oh my god, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? He looks like. <laughs> that that says very clearly the holodeck is for absolutely canonically it's the most blatant That's suggestion yeah. thus far of okay. the holodeck yeah. being used explicitly for sexual purposes yeah, yes yeah. <laughs> a couple things he's gonna go find minuet in there there's yeah. there's mm-hmm. there's very few times i've said this before i think on this podcast there's very few times where you look at a, a show with a movie and you're like that's a fucking full-on genuine kiss Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I felt like this one was one of them with Riker because she she like does the whole thing with her hands behind his head. Oh yeah, like, yeah, like mm-hmm. yeah, like not like oh gen- gingerly like and, this is and for a movie. Jonathan when, Frakes is yeah. definitely into it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's happy. Yeah, there's very yeah. few times where I see it and I'm like, oh, that was a genuine kiss. The other time, and I maybe I brought it up. I, I I'm, I'm too high to remember. <laughs> there's a scene in Hustle and Flow where he's about to go like pitches music or whatever or sting mm-hmm. and he leaves and then he comes back and kisses her in the house oh, okay and okay. he like if you look at that kiss like it's a full-blown like real fucking like he, mm-hmm. they were like they just went at it dude uh and that's how it, it gave me those vibes in this one but for tv you know what i mean keep yeah. it PG. it's a hot kiss for yeah. sure they and like Riker, l- like Riker tries to hug back but you see his hands like curl he up he almost is yeah. like a oh. fist pump like yeah. he's yeah. like yeah he's like no i cannot yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and then so then uh I cannot open another man's gift. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is such a weird excuse. That he's a, yeah. Like, I was like, oh my God, that is so bizarre. It's a weird he's, way to put it. But, yeah, you know, yeah it is really a weird way to put weird. it. But, <laughs> but I, I also but feel like Riker can't resist, like, making a pun. Yes, yes. yes like, yes, wherever yes. he can, he'll always, like, you know, get a line in. Yes, so, yeah. he was just waiting to use it on anybody. So, then the next scene is 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 with Beverly, and she's like, she's a whore. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and I, I just, I, I don't like her point of view i didn't like her mm. she doesn't know she's out of her element dude she's out of her element dude i do think it's funny that like he goes yes yes crime directive blah blah blah. we don't need to talk about this like i like how at first they frame picard as being like well, you know usually being the defender of the prime directive but in within this episode he's you know no. violating it again no let's get to it before right. we get any further, so we really enjoy the the, the comedic stylings of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Arrange marriages. Mm-hmm. 
I'm for arranged marriages. Right? You're for I'm not, them? I'm not like yes. personally for, but if a culture, if it's part yes. of a culture, mm-hmm. I'm yep. not like yep. against it. Yep. I know people yeah. modern day, like yes, 2023, yeah. who are in arranged marriages and are extremely happy. I, I know um, people that declined it. Yeah. Because yeah. it was part of their culture. They declined it. And to be, mm-hmm. uh, they declined it and they regretted it. Yeah. Oh, they're interesting. Like, they're, like, they're like, oh, I should, I should have done it. I, 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 I just, mm-hmm. I, I was like, yeah, and and they, and both, um, both sides, female and female. Mm-hmm. Huh. And but modern day arranged marriage is not what people think. Like, back, yes, exactly. Okay, so I was my, about to say my yeah. grandparents, uh, was my grandparents were in arranged marriage, you know, but it was it was very odd. What, what was the the dowry? <laughs> I don't know. Fuck if I know. But it was an arranged marriage. My grandmother was very young, though, and there was quite a big age difference. So a little questionable there. But modern day arranged marriage is very like. Yes. Uh, but isn't it, it's wait, very wait, 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 civil. Wait, how, it's like old, how old? How old? How old? Um, I think my grandmother is probably like maybe, I don't know, 15 or 16. Maybe? That's funny, dude. Or it's funny younger? how you're like, well, well, it was a different time. But it, but like Chubby Checker sings a song about she was a 16 and beautiful in mine. And we all fucking freak out. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like huh? also my grandfather was uh, older, you know, like not, he was not the same age, you know, right. not right. even right. close. So yeah. let's put it that way. So, but a little strange, but they stayed together until, you know, they both passed away. Yeah. And, but like modern day arranged marriages, like right now, I I mean, it's more like here. I have this match for you. You go exactly. out to coffee. You date, and you have total total free will on exactly. if you want to exactly. continue with this person. And it's like, it's I like, think it's, it's, like, I think we should yeah. note here that the arranged marriage version that you're speaking of right now does it's not seem to match this. what we see in the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The episode's no, very different. No. The yeah, episode, yeah. she is literally property. She's, she's, yeah. Yeah. she's, she's, she's it's more like old timey arranged. Yeah, marriage. it more matches is like my grandparents' time of like. I think it's, I would say it's even more extreme <laughs> the less than palatable your, version. Yeah, uh, but yes, I would say it's even exactly. more extreme than your grandparents in the sense that she's yeah. literally viewed as property. Like. Yes. To right. be like done presented with, as a gift and yeah. you know understood as such. So that that's a bit you know more like oogie, uh, but, but I think sure. Picard but, has a point but, where it's like it's cultural and you can't like but externally but how, how judge a culture that way that well you know yeah. But also, how different is it from this dude? Like, so they say like she was bred for this basically, right? Like she yeah. was like she was she was born she was bred and this, raised yeah. to mm-hmm. be this sexual being and to be gifted to this but how is it different from this you have a kid let's say i'm going to pick the state of texas cuz they're so <laughs> passionate about this you have a kid <laughs> right and this happens all the time you see it in articles and you see it i've, I've seen it lately cuz my kids are of that age a parent start taking kids to their to flag football some mm. kid, some parents will hold their kids back from going to school a year so when they go into kindergarten oh. they're they're taller and bigger what? So when they get to high school, that's fucked. They're oh. bigger in high school. What? So they're taller and bigger. And and they're basically breeding their kids. I mean, not breeding, but raising their kids to be football players. Wow. Yeah, that's fucked. And, I don't know. And, about or that. basketball yeah. players. Like you 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 live, breathe, and eat fucking basketball. You, you eat, live, and breathe fucking football. And it's not that different. It's just that one is and like I would say, uh, eh, never mind. I, I won't say that. But I'm saying it's it's both is is really like not raising great. somebody else. Yeah, I don't like to, that. I don't like yeah. either of those. <laughs> yeah, but but it's the same kind of, you know, I, yeah. I was just saying that to to bring in more to like, that's what it feels like as well. Like that we still do that. It's just but in a do different But do we respect view. their well, cultural I feel like the difference, I don't know. The, the difference for that, I think though, is that in like the parent scenario, it's like one one authority figure exerting that like vision upon the child. Yeah. And in Kamala's case, her entire society was reinforcing that and like yeah. joining together. She's like a chosen say, one. Like, like yeah, yeah like, basically it's like everything but, about yeah. this. But, like, but also, but also isn't she, isn't she a queen though? Kind no, of? no, no, she's not a queen, but she's, she's a, peace she's, she's just offering. super special because she's the metamorph. Like she's yeah, the she's, rare. Yeah. The she's rare not royalty or anything. Born. She was just born a metamorph. I but think, it, but I think the difference also is that in the, in the football basketball example, yeah. like we live in that culture, like American culture. I yeah. think it's, we are not part of Texas culture. Cause you use that as a specific, specific yeah, example. It's, it's part but, of American culture. It's American, but, culture. but, but it's, uh, we're in it. So we can, I think yeah. more critically point it out and go, Hey, I don't think that's great. Yeah. I think there's always a problem when you view someone, Some you can view something externally of a culture and go, 
wow, I don't know how I morally feel about that, but it, I don't think it's up to you to be insert yourself into a culture that yeah. you are not a part of yeah, yeah. and don't fully understand to try to then impose your morals that way. That yeah, can yeah. lead to far more complications that can make it even worse. No, like yeah, the culture yeah. needs to figure it out on their own yeah. rather than have a, yeah. an external and, person come in. You know, And I don't even think like that's bad, like raising your kids to do, I mean, like t- more often than, than none, I, I, f- I feel like it, it's heavy this way, but like you watch, look, I watch a lot of football. I watch right, a lot of- right football uh for anybody outside the country uh american football <laughs> um, and the, the brain damage one the- yeah and <laughs> and uh you see it every like when there's a like a sensational rookie or somebody right or somebody who's like were, in second year since they were a they, kid their they, parents they do they away. do like the the look inside this player you know like retrospect and you see like there are pictures of kids and like, you know, like yeah. they get emotional about their father. Like, Hey, yeah, like, oh, why was would, Michael would Jordan me. such a great basketball player? Yeah. Cause yeah. he was playing in socks and when he was a kid and in the yeah. streets and, you know, like and, was- and you see, like, I was just watching this thing on uh, one of the uh, d- defensive players for uh, the Detroit lions, uh, Hutchinson. And like, he was so happy and like emotional to talk about his dad and how like it meant mm-hmm. so much for him and his dad f- for him to be like in this, this place and like this team. And it, like, Will Smith hell, just even, won an Oscar it, for even playing I got the dad of the, the, the Williams sisters doing yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, um, it's... So it's everywhere in our world, but it's just yeah in a different form. Yes. Anyway, then there's a shot that I fucking love, dude. I love the shot. Fucking, mm. what's the name that directed this? Did a beautiful job. Picard goes to her quarters. Cliff Ball is a director. Oh, Uwe, yeah, Uwe Ball. the shot's good, yeah. And the, the <laughs> door opens, and you see her pull up oh, the mirror. mirror. They love their mirror shots. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love the shot. Yeah, they do that a lot. They do and, that like yeah. twice. Yeah, 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 yeah. They love it. And and then so he comes in, and then and like you see that it was a reflection. It's really well framed. And even when they do his coverage, mm-hmm. I love that because you could see her reaction, her body movement, mm-hmm. yeah. while Picard's talking, and I love that a lot. But it's a hard it's a hard scene because if the audio is different, it, yeah, it, it's a hard scene to direct that and and make it work as an editor, I think. But it works it works beautifully. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it, he basically goes in there and she immediately like he's talking to her and he's like, "Hey, I just want to make sure that you're you're not here. They're not forcing you to be in this room, and they're not right. letting you out." And she's like, "Well, they kind of are, but because they don't want me to disrupt your crew." And he's like, "No, that's none of their business. That's bullshit. That's, that's my that's business. That's, you're allowed you know I mean? to that's, leave. Yeah, they need to handle themselves. Yeah, they need to be adults and mm-hmm. you know not be fools. And then immediately she says something, and and he's like, "Don't do this." Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's badass. That he was like immediately like instantly knew, just oh, yeah. caught it. Like, yeah. oh, she's trying to, she's trying to, she's trying to get get a hold of me dude mm-hmm. not so easy pal i'm professor xavier dude uh i got my boner on lockdown and, um, <laughs> so basically he goes uh you know what like i'm gonna i'm gonna have somebody chaperone you around the ship so you could kind of see everything and i'm gonna send my best man and his best man hell yeah boom is fucking data dude hell that's yeah. so amazing where like we all know and the audience is like i have the perfect yeah when he go when he person. goes not all not every man <laughs> not every man is gonna be influenced and it's like hard cut to data and you're like oh okay this is perfect you know like it was, it was such a great scene and, yeah. and data just looks so innocent and un, un, unassuming in his yeah. role as very protector. innocent, very, innocent. <laughs> very uh, innocent. But but what she doesn't know is that he could fuck, dude. He fuck oh yeah, dude. I know. Yeah. I was just like, yeah. well, if given the opportunity, I mean, well, Several it's not to him. Like, it, like if she asked, like, oh, can do you have your parts? And he's yeah. like, oh yeah, dude. And they're <laughs> all fully functional. They're lubricated. Yeah. He's ready uh, and to go. then Picard goes to the wizard and he's like, hey, the the lady, uh, she requested some freedom and to, to move around. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put my guy and he, she's she's gonna she's gonna explore the ship a bit. And uh, so she she goes with Data, and he's kind of chaperoning her. And everywhere she goes to the, to the ten forward, and and everyone's like immediately everyone like, loses their mind. What? Yeah. And she ad- you could see how fast she adapts to people because like those roughnecks that are at the bar. Who are like, they? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Dude. Where they're did just they there come to be from? Gross. <laughs> I don't know. Dude. They're just there to be gross, but, dude. But they're like they're like dudes that work at, like an oil rig somewhere, dude. Right. And they're yeah. like, yeah. Why would they be on the Enterprise? I was they're so on deck, confused. Deck seven, right? Yeah. I don't know what deck seven. Seven is, yeah. but I am. I want to know. They're a bunch of out. roughnecks, dude. Yeah. Uh, probably dudes that like do a lot of wrenching, dude. Do they? Yeah. Do they like like shovel antimatter into the warp core? Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> dude. they're all dirty. <laughs> Why are they so dirty? <laughs> well, guys, like you still have plumbing, right? Don't you? Yeah, they have 
like no, toilets. The, the, they have the, the, everything's kind of just done like with nanites and shit. Like nobody like oh, nobody gets goes their hands to the thing. bathroom anymore. It, it, the, the, you don't think these there's ball bearings to be fucking oiled, dude, or, or lubricated? I think the ship like just does it. There's like, no ball it, bearing in the fucking yeah. ship, dude. There's got to be some <laughs> manual labor. Yeah, left. there's got to be some sort of ball bearing. That everything's so clean. Dude. Like even the, the engineering like engine section, it's like a clean tube. Marvin, you know, like uh, Marvin, the, 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 <laughs> and the Jeffrey's open up, tubes are also very clean. Yeah, even the Jeffrey's tubes, which are like the back of everything is like pristine like <laughs> the, the doors the 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 doors on the elevators or the doors on any fucking doorway it's, dude. it's just a guy they, they <laughs> gotta be lubricated they gotta be oh, lubricated okay. dude. i thought you were gonna so, say it's these guys at every door going Ksh. yeah well that too uh, <laughs> these dudes are lubricating and so they're like uh, i mean that's literally yeah. how it was really done but yeah <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> where like, is guinan guinan's not in this bar I well, she, cause she, she hasn't been here in a while <laughs> she's, not, she's not on fucking sith guinan's on leave Doing yeah, Guinan's on shore leave. Yeah. It's funny how like crazy. I mean, this goes back to my whole like, do guys like if they were to see someone super hot? Like, I don't know. Like, this just seems so comical. These guys are all like losing their minds. But it's but, a, but it's you're a trope. not you, you. But no, you're not. You. you they said she released. She's releasing more for, uh, yeah. pheromones. She's like, literally releasing drugs yeah, into the air. You keep you keep bringing up that point, <laughs> yeah, but but true, we keep true. bringing up the point that you you're not understanding like. That's, that's the shit that they pump into. That's what I was, that brought up the Vegas thing because they're she's <laughs> pumping out like things that you, yeah that's just too yeah much. when you fall in love there's 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 pheromones that you give off yeah but, but I this guess is, so but what is, is her range is it like is it like a perfume like what's the dude, range a room like a whole shit it's just like she's just farting it out constantly yeah, dude. so <laughs> it's just it's just everywhere when she walks away are you like whoa why did I say yes. that to her that's yes. crazy. exactly exactly yes. yeah. or like she randomly growls at. <laughs> So the roughnecks, the roughnecks are like all into her, and she's like, "Yeah, let's have a fucking drink." And she's like, "She, she, she starts leaning adapts. on the bar." Yeah, and she like, adapts, yeah. and then they're like, "They're like, oh, I heard the 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 hall deck needs fucking uh, fixing," and he's about to leave, and he's like, "No, no, no, I, I'll stay." Uh, I like and, that moment. And she, she <laughs> and adapts. Like, Wait a minute, Data's doing yeah. his absolute best yeah. to know. Yeah, he actually <laughs> catches being being got. It's like, yeah, yeah good yeah. on you, Data. You know. And yeah, then yeah. he goes extremely rude behavior. <laughs> <laughs> and then fucking Worf steps it up, dude. He's like, what the fuck, dude? Because you guys want to fucking, you want to dance? Dude? Is there a problem here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah. And then, and then you want to, you want to dance? Yeah. You want to dance? Dude? I want to get nuts. Up. Yeah. Come I'll on. Nuts. Yeah. And then, and then, uh, and then she, when, when they're about to leave, she turns around and she does, she growls at him, dude. She does like fucking like DMX. Oh, yeah. Rough. <laughs> you know? <laughs> 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 <The> DMX <thing. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, if and DMX then, was in the room, that's what she would be doing. She'd yeah, be like, yeah. <laughs> There's an old Klingon saying. Yeah, every dog needs a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you guys heard? Oh uh, not just any bitch, but a real bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> have you guys have you guys heard DMX singing um, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer? No. Oh, no. look it up! Please guys. tell me it's like his actual real attempt at doing so. It's his real. It's a real genuine oh, attempt. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful! Hell yeah! Watch it. I want to watch hear it that. Beautiful, beautiful, watch it beautiful. Okay, beautiful. so so she 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 growls at him, and and Worf does it back, dude. And he's yeah, like, yeah. Ah. He catches himself doing. it. And like, then he wait, catches him doing. Uh, he's like, oh, what the fuck am I doing, dude? I have, I have two dicks. I can hurt her. Um, I didn't know that was like a thing. Of the growling. Oh yeah, Klingons. Uh, how did you forget? Didn't you watch the Tapatio? I don't remember uh, the growling. Do so growling? I, but she didn't Does see the growl? one where where uh, when you did not. I don't think you saw the episode where Riker became a Q and yeah. uh, Riker at the end of the episode started granting everyone's wishes, sort of. And for Worf, she's like, "I know you're a horny, Worf. So here's a Klingon woman." Yeah. And basically, the way he like tries to mate with her is he grabs her, throws her on the floor, and then she starts growling at him, and they oh start growling God. at each other. And that's how Klingons fuck. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's, I, I, there's a thing for everybody. I, yeah, yeah, that's that's that's, that's, for, that's sure. reward. I love yeah, how, despite how s- s- absurd all of that sounded, it was a completely accurate recount- <laughs> recounting of what happened. It's literally, yeah. 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 <laughs> This is why we love um, Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was all those thoughts are in my head right now. It's like this is why we're doing this. This is why yeah, we this is why Star Trek's amazing. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. So Jean Grey oh, goes. Go, she, she she goes to uh, to see Picard, and he's and he's like, you know, like we he, made a he, mistake. He, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. like, fuck. 
he's like <laughs> he's like how you don't you don't put your wall down dude you got that wall up high dude he's yeah. like, you got the mental blockers dude uh he's like let <laughs> she me finds in. it attractive yeah she's yeah. Like, uh, you know he's uh, playing hard hot, to get dude. right like, again emotionally yeah. unavailable yeah so attractive. he's um, emotionally, <laughs> emotionally unavailable hard to get and she's she i think she finds it she finds and, it interesting because and then, that's not what she's used to. Yeah, I mean it's and a then, challenge, and challenges yeah. are fascinating. It's a challenge. And then yeah, she yeah, does. Yeah. She does the thing. She's like, "Oh, thimbles!" Uh, you know, she starts going off on fucking thimbles, and he gets all horned his up. His weakness, archaeology. Yeah, he's, like, <laughs> he's like, "You know, I love thimbles." <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I've never heard, his, read this about thimbles. What do you mean? His two weaknesses are archaeology and French wine. And as soon as she brings them up, all of his defenses go down. He's like, uh, oh, there's man, one more you got Shakespeare. Me. Just one more Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Yeah. 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 Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and then man. and then she's she was she's all up on him, dude. And and he and he's like, nah, I need you to pack the fuck up, you fucking wench. Um <laughs> And and she fucking she leaves and and he's like and then um, he keeps going. I'm really boring. I'm very boring. Don't talk to me. Yeah. I'm very I'm, boring. I'm not interesting. Yeah. I'm not interesting. I'm, I'm very interesting. dull. My yeah. dick is very small. You do not want yeah. this. I just you really should have just started saying that. You. Yeah. I just read books at night. Yeah. I don't do anything else. I fall asleep with a book in my hand and my he's small a, dick in my other hand. He's a, he's a, do you want to know about? <laughs> not not interesting at all. Nothing to That's see. He falls asleep, just yeah. holding his dick. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's like, he's like, I call my brother Robert and Robert. Uh, <laughs> so, so anyway, the Frangies call the wizard over, and the wizard comes in, and they're like, he's like, we have a deal for you, dude. <laughs> so <laughs> stupid. He's like, he's like, we know that you don't make enough money, dude. We know that, dude. You, oh, you're making chump change because you look at the look at the wizard fucking wardrobe we're wearing, dude. He's like, he's like, see these, and he, they put coins in his hand. He's yeah. like, there's a lot more where that came from, buddy. <laughs> he's like, ten thousand more of that. Those that that amount. And he's and he's like, Ugh, and he, he like throws it on the floor and they immediately go, oh money. Uh, uh, <laughs> they scamper to the floor. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> It's yeah. so and bad. They're like, and they're like, oh, you drive a hard bargain. 20 then. That's as much as we do, dude. I love how he throws it to the floor. The wizard guy just like really harshly like. like he almost he like almost spat on the floor. He, he yeah, almost yeah. spits on it. He almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, He's pretty insulted to be, you know, accosted yeah. by these Ferengi right and now. He's of high like, morals. Yes. They're like, they're like, dude, they're like, this is why we got on here, dude. This is a heist, my man. We want her to be here. We want, we want that lady. We want to fuck her and we'll pay for her, dude. Yeah. Wait a minute, like the, the, the only explanation they give for what they want with her is she's an answer to a Ferengi prayer. That's all they say. Yeah. She's the perfect woman. I think that's yeah. what it is. She'd probably be quiet and like just bang him. And, and then because like, she'll do quiet. exactly what they say. Yeah. Yeah, and that's yeah. kind of what they yeah. want yeah. as a, in a woman. So like, I guess so they're just then, trusting that she'll, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And she's like, <laughs> she, she, she's like, she's exactly. like, she's like, they're, this is their whole plan all along. We have a ship that's going to rendezvous later. And he's like, he's like, no deal, but thank you for this information. I'm going to relate to the captain. Yes. And as he turns around, they're like, no, wait. And then they fucking chuck him into the floor and he fucking gets shanked with, with yeah. a glass. Of I thought he was dead. Yeah. 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 He yeah. Comes yeah. Out of his head. I thought he was dead. Yeah. I, thought I was, was like, dead. oh shit, they killed him. Like yeah. I was like, I was shocked. Yeah. yeah. I wanted them to blow these guys out of the airlock, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, like go, oh, we, like we turned we, out we didn't. We never him. found a Ferengi yeah, ship. We never signed. What are you talking about? <laughs> we never found a Ferengi ship. Yeah. Um, and so they go, and like the the wizard is like almost dying, and he's like, "Is it going to be okay?" And he's like, "I don't know." And then she's like, "Well, you have to make you have to step in, dude." Because she's like, you I'm are, go, "You're I'm the gonna ambassador go, now. I'm going to spoil. Yeah. I'm going to go bad in like a day." <laughs> and, and she's like, "What do you mean? Can't postpone like, it. I, I, yeah. am, I am about yeah, to. Yeah, she, she's I like, I'm about to somebody. I yeah. gotta go bad. <laughs> she's, she's like, she's like, it's my big dick. I want to fuck. Who's it gonna be? And um, and so she's like, well, y- I, 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 you, you, bu- you premature." Lee ejaculated me, so I, I <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm I'm gonna <laughs> essentially yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna so gooch. I gotta bond with somebody yeah I'm gonna yeah. gooch with somebody and he's like all right well let me figure this out dude and so that's when they have the montage where he's learning how to play the the marimbas he's like under the sea. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's, yes. That would be amazing. Yeah. That they're, <laughs> they're really into Disney Renaissance movies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's all that Sebastian. He gets me. Uh, <laughs> hey man, 
<laughs> Disney owns Hunch- X-Men and that <laughs> now. Hunchback they of Notre Dame is very underrated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think most I think many would actually agree with that. Oh, Hunchback's great. Uh if you ignore the gargoyles, that movie's fucking amazing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's a he's a hot take. Uh the live action Beauty and the Beast is much better. That's so literally <laughs> not true. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, it's not. <laughs> That's why he said hot take in the beginning, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. So uh, he basically is having a ball with her, dude, and fucking learning ling- language. Yeah, they're having fucking, fun. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. the card let his lets his guard yeah. down. Learning, and, like, learning about scrolls, and then he what is what is the secret he reveals that like about he, his he played piano as a kid. Yeah. And, and he's like, uh, he's like, they used to call me Ray Charles, the white Ray Charles. Yeah. But I hated performing in, in front of people. Uh, <laughs> And uh, the white yeah. v- with vision, Ray Charles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! So, just a regular white man, essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> god damn it, dude. So then, so then she sits on the throne, dude, and, and she's oh, yeah, oof, yeah, dude. she's she's power move, you know, power, yeah, move. power move, oh. and she's like, Oh, thank you for, for giving me that little jam, dude, you know, little jam, uncut jams. She says, <laughs> 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 Yeah. Just, Uncut yeah. jams. Yeah. <laughs> she says, "Wow, Sarah uh, did that perfectly. That's yeah, like exactly yeah. how it sounds." Yeah. <laughs> and and she says that she's like she's like you you opened up and gave me that uncut jams. Uh, <laughs> say it again, Sarah. Say it again. Uncut jams. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jams? There's That's an exact. art to vague wow. vowels, man. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> so then, would so you then say she, like I'm his muse? I'm his. Yeah. Uncle Jams. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm I'm, uh, I'm Josh Safty's uh muse. Yeah. And Anka Jams. Muse and Anka Jams. Uh, so so this girl is his muse. He he's Picard's muse and and he and he reveals some stuff and basically she's like, you know, like I'm I'm I'm, I'm hot to trot. I'm imprinting, dude. Oh I'm God. like that I'm like that fucking werewolf that imprints on that baby in that fucking vampire <laughs> movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and he's like, "What are you talking about?" And then she's like, "Well, let me go talk to this fucking." There's a, there's this, a whole old historical yeah. book called the Twilight series. And yeah, then, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then so Picard an ancient to scholar to named Stephanie Meyer. <laughs> yeah, uh, she wrote the the werewolf bible. Um, so she, so Picard goes to talk to the fucking Denny Elfman, and Denny Elfman's like, "Man, I've sexually harassed so many people allegedly." Um, <laughs> And uh, now he he's kind of a bitch, dude. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I just want to make sure the trade agreements are in our favor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's all, that's that's the only um, thing I care about. So we're talking about the her her mate guy, right? That the character. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He's uh, also so like, the he's also reveal got face is so because as soon as we know that he's gonna go talk to him, I my first thought was like he's gonna be fucking fugly. Okay. <laughs> like they're gonna oh, have yes, the one guy the one guy it's that she's stuck with forever she's this beautiful smart you know hyper intelligent like they go actually go out of their way to lady who is yeah. just yeah. like so interesting and then you see who she's gonna spend time with and it's like this fugly guy this who I, turns bo- around because he's in the video. chair like <laughs> Picard walks in and they set it up perfectly where like, you know, you he's in the chair and you can't really see him. And then he's just like this fugly guy and <laughs> yeah. he's not even interested in her at all. He's just like, oh, whatever. Ah, and he stands up with his like, super lifted. I figured out yeah. who he looks like. I figured out who he looks like. He looks like Danny Elfman if him he and does. and uh, and uh, uh, Palpatine like fuck <laughs> oh, yes. that's right. okay. oh yeah that's the, the, that was the missing piece Palpatine. yeah, yeah the he kept on trying to fit elton john yeah. in there but nah nah it, you got it right <laughs> it's palpatine didn't he you can imagine he's him like, doing the fingers the lightning yeah. fingers yeah he's you like can imagine it he's like yeah they lead to many <laughs> interesting powers yeah uh, but it's just so, I, I immediately feel so sad for her D- the thing is that she doesn't so know sad. here's the thing is that she doesn't know ugly she finds everybody beautiful even picard that's true picard but has like, no hair when but like picard was when he, she goes back to him she's just like tell me about him what is he i picard is so nice i would have been like dude he's fugly like no <laughs> sarah, sarah, sarah you're understanding she like, was she was down to fuck the, the the roughnecks dude she, she yeah. finds beauty in everything 
thing. You, you're very judgmental, yes. dude. I'm gonna I am. Side, I am dude. judgmental. You're yeah, very I am. She, I am. But they, 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 they did intentionally everything, dude. They did intentionally cast him. I mean, they could have hired. Hi- they yeah. could have hired like a. I know Jason Momoa wasn't this age at this time. He's a baby or non-existent, but <laughs> well, you know, he, like a, an Sarah, adjacent. Sarah, he he's ruling know? the fucking sea kingdoms, dude. He's not and in then, space. <laughs> And then it would have been like, oh, okay. At least if she's going to spend time with somebody for the rest of her life, it's some someone nice. Well, that's why they did it. That's why they're they're trying to be. They want you to be shocked. Yeah, they want you to be like, oh, no, no. uh, What I would have done, the stronger choice is make him really handsome. But yeah. a dick. Like he should be like, oh, oh I don't care. The Billy like Zane. The, yeah. the Billy Zane. He, yes. Character. Oh, 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 okay. But Billy Zane's kind of hot in the. That's that's that's, that's, exactly, yeah. that's Ricardo's that's exactly. point. Yeah. yeah no, but he's point. like, even though he's bad, you're kind of like. That's oh, what we that's keep that's saying. That's exactly it. his point. Yeah. That, but that's yeah. exactly <laughs> the point he's making. Yeah, yeah. They're like, yeah. yeah. Oh, that would have been cool. That would have been. Yeah. That you're like, oh, this isn't bad, and then he turns around. He's like, but I like to beat my wives. If you know what I mean. If you know what I mean, which is exactly what I just said. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, oh, my okay. metaphor is yeah. more literal than metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very conflicted. Yeah. He's yeah. hot, but he likes yeah. to beat his wife. Mm. He's all, I like I to know. leave my wives in, in sinking ships and beat them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and steal children to use as yeah. fodder for going yeah. on lifeboats. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, and I, flip tables. Yeah. I once knew a man named Marty McFly. Um, <laughs> he's also <laughs> like back to the future. <laughs> he was a, he was a, a horrible, ugly looking man, but he had a beautiful wife. Um, <laughs> and anyway, so, so he, he goes back and he's like, tell me about him. And he's like, he's got such a beautiful voice. This man. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. Uh, curly his hair. Great ideas. Seen. Great ideas. Curly great hair. Idea. Curly reddest hair. Beautiful face seen? tattoos. Fiery red hair. Yeah, fiery uh, red hair. Balding a little bit. Yeah. Short cane. He, he's, uh, great. he's got a, a rapist wit uh, about him. Uh, <laughs> A great yeah. aspect of his personality. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you know. A business oriented man. Yeah. When somebody immediately starts telling them, like, here's, a, here's bad signs. If somebody's like, <laughs> can I say you up on a date? And, and you're like, oh, yeah, well, well, with who? It's like, this person, beautiful soul. If they start with fucking soul <laughs> shit, like, you're, you're like, oh, you're setting me up with None. a negative person. Okay, got it, got it. No, I have that same exact, yeah. I have that same exact thought whenever someone's being interviewed on local news about someone who, like, just got arrested. It's like, ah, oh, you had a good heart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He has a good heart. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, you're like, good heart. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, but the man had an MS-13 tattooed in his arms. Yeah, but, he, but, he, but he had a good heart. Um, oh, my God. Don't think about his I arms. Mean, think about his heart. Yeah. yeah. That's true. I, that would, I guess that would be a red flag if someone was just like, Sarah, I want to set you up on this date with this beautiful soul of a guy. He's yeah. got, I'd be like, what else is wrong? Yeah. He's like, know. look, this guy, this guy, he's a fillet of the, of the neighborhood. Uh, he... He is, Which has fillet, a beautiful though, voice. It's important. Yeah, yeah, it's important. <laughs> Are we talking chuck roasts? Or? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so she, he goes back and is telling her he's really pitching this guy, and he's like, he's like, he's like, oh, will you stay with me here tonight? And he's like, he's like, I just don't want to be alone. And he, and Picard's like, oh, I can't, dude. My dick's too hard. And but he's <laughs> like, and but she's like, I just want to hear your voice. Just talk to me. Let's just turn off the lights and play. Who's in my mouth? I mean, just play, <laughs> who's in my ear? Like, like, because you'll talk to me. Yes. Uh, right, right, and then he, right. And then he's like, I'll stay, but the lights stay on. Yeah. And she's like, Oh, yeah. you know too well that immediately. Oh shit. Yeah. We would be playing. Who's in my mouth? <laughs> That's um, a pretty good tag. And yeah, she yeah. and she's like she she gets some tea and she's like tea Earl Grey hot. And no, he's I have a question. super hard. Dad. Why does oh, everybody man. say hot? Like, are they serving fucking cold so ass iced tea? Yeah, Grey? you can have iced tea. Really? You yeah. Say uh, with Earl Grey hot. Yeah, you can have iced yeah. tea or, or Grey iced tea. I didn't know yeah. that, dude. I, oh, yeah. There's some teas that I would you can never have, have it with cold cream. Day. You can have it, you know, yeah. as like a frappe. You can you have, can it have any tea iced. Yeah, uh, Earl, not Earl, not Earl. certain teas. They're like yeah. I don't know. I don't. I, don't I think almost. With, every, I think every tea you could have iced. In my opinion, personally, I guess so. Great. I've had some teas where you're like, I'm like, this would not taste for good cold. Oh. I've I've let a tea go cold, but let it sit That's there and, and taste horrible. Like I think I think your mind has a different uh, version uh, version of it if it's like comes iced. And maybe also has some sweetener in it, like a sweet tea, you know? So that's what I'm thinking. But. The cat was biting my headphones. Um, <laughs> she, she's she got him hooked, dude. She's she's like, oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yes, great. that's a- he's great. And so he stays and he, he probably fucked her, dude. Let's be honest, dude. Well, that's, I was, yeah. that's the question I was going to ask. She rubbed his do head bare back, dude. Do you yeah. guys think they fucked? Yeah. Or- yeah. yeah. I do. Yeah. 
I mean, it's easy to just say yes because it's the more scandalous. No, 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 no. No, I, you know I actually Cause, think because so. when, when when the wizard says, "I don't know how you did it," he didn't say he didn't say, "Well, because because I'm a fucking man, dude, and I know how to keep <laughs> my emotions in check, dude." And anything you can't suppress by masturbating or drinking large amounts of whiskey, <laughs> <laughs> then you gotta just let it go, my man. Because uh, I think thematically, it makes more sense if they didn't fuck. Well, yeah, opinion. that's that, that's my thinking too. It's like thematically, it makes it works more if he didn't. But Why? Yeah, I mean, I, I do acknowledge Ricardo's point Why? that like that it's moment. Sadder? No, no, not sadder. It's because to, to me, I think the 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 this is jumping slightly ahead. But to me, the the kind of morality of the story is that everyone views her for her sexuality, whereas Picard is kind of the first to view her as a person and wants to know who she is as a person. And because he wants to fuck her, no, but yeah. he's also, but he's also like genuinely like trying to like be there for her. But why I can't think, we have yeah. both? What's wrong with well, no, getting that, to know no, someone? No. I mean, it's clear they had a connection, yeah, dude. and it was genuine. Marvin, so why Marvin, not but, seal but, but, the deal but, with the but, physical Marvin, thing? This, if this lady looked ugly, saying, you think but, but, if this lady looked ugly, he'd be fucking investing all this time with her, dude? No, he would not. But what I'm saying no. is that he'd be that, like, Jordy, go take care of that shit, dude. I think I think the idea of bonding isn't fucking. She says when later she says I've bonded with you. I'm not saying that the question yeah. is yeah. did they have sex and i think yes i think they had emotional and mental and physical connection yeah i look think they she's completed all of that look at how she's rubbing his head dude i'm not yeah, trying but, to say that that's they definitely had a mental i mean i think in order for picard to have sex he needs to have the emotional mental connection with the person yeah. i think with Vosh, we've case, proved that's did. not true <laughs> well Vosh? i think Who's in Vosh? this in, in this instance I'm, I'm not saying i mean yeah he can fuck for fun sure but i mean like if it's someone he genuinely cares about i don't feel like he would have a hang up about having sex with her so that's my personal take on it but i think they did have sex yeah i mean i think it's it's intentionally left vague I think it thematically is. it makes sense if he didn't, because I think that sort of is more, and I think that's more in line with what the card just does, in my opinion. Um, but I don't know. It's obviously vague. And up I mean, in the he air. has sex. He fucks. I know. He fucks, like, dude. He fucks yeah, but like he, unprotected, dude. You know what I mean? But well, that's like yeah. on vacation. <laughs> you think like, he honestly, fucks with protection yeah. when he's on a vacation? One could, one could argue that this is the supreme time to fuck. I mean, you have yeah, a mental connection. You have a, a pretty lady. You have with, your emotions. With hot tea. Hot tea. Earl Grey You have hot. an external yeah. situation that yeah. forces you into like, you know, into order after everything's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, it's great. There's and no room for chaos afterwards. Yeah, and there's they, no room they, for chaos. It's perfect. They literally, they literally just got finished playing under the sea, dude. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's yeah. harder than he's ever been, dude. It's, he's like, he's like, I love vacation. I love Jamaica. I like. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I mean, he's, he's like, you know that song? He's, he's like, you know that song? You're making she's crabs. Like, she's like, it's <laughs> lobsters. He's like, you know that like, hot, hot, hot song? Yeah. yeah, yeah I love yeah. it so much. Oh, <laughs> nice little fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh my so, god! Uh, so that he triggers goes to strong Futurama commercial memories. He, 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 he goes, he goes to, so much. Yeah. He goes to talk to Beverly, and he's very upset because he's yeah. probably really horned up at this point. I think, I think in the timeline, he fucked her. After, he went back to fuck her after this. Yeah, I think so too. Because, because also, because a guy said when he was leaving, like, I don't care about the chick. I just want the deal, dude. I like, yeah, dough, I dude. just want the trade agreement. I'm a crypto bro. I like crypto, <laughs> and I like my bros. <laughs> <laughs> that comes out of nowhere, but I'm willing to just, believe it. He just wants that that the planet's crypto. That's all he wants. I want that FTX money. <laughs> but if I was Picard in that situation, I would have been like, "Oh, this guy like just gave me permission." So I'm yeah. Just gonna it, go. So he's like, he's like, <laughs> okay, he's like. So you would say that yeah. crypto is your priority, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." yeah. Oh, I love crypto. I jack Definitely. off to fucking hard drives everywhere. What is, oh. So it doesn't and, matter and like, who yeah. you get. Yeah. Oh. Imagine, <laughs> so she's like, so he's like, say, what did he? 
<laughs> this is horrible, dude. What if he's like, he's like, uh, he's like, Deanna, I have a special mission. You, should, you have to go on. <laughs> he swapped her. I he knew it. Her. I knew you were going to suggest Deanna. <laughs> That's why off. she's he's gone. Like, Here, here's your wife. Ta- we'll, we'll get a better empath as a yeah. re- as a yeah. replacement because yeah. she's way better. <laughs> and, 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 oh my god! And, and Picard's like, it's a secret mission. You you have to go with this man and find out how his crypto secrets. Um, <laughs> And and she find she out goes his off. crypto wallet address <laughs> <Yeah>. so we <laughs> could. <laughs> <laughs> and she and he keeps her dude he keeps he keeps fucking Jean Grey by the way this probably fueled a lot of fucking X-Men fan fiction right oh it's got to have yeah I mean I almost heard the fucking fa- the, the, the music when he when she touched his bald head she went <laughs> and it's and when he got hard that's the that's the sound his dick plays when he gets hard yeah 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 so he goes to Beverly and he's like oh I don't know what to do that's his heart he's like this tea he's like he's like this tea tastes like shit when it's not prepared by Jean Grey <laughs> um, but he's like the replica. Jean Grey, makes it. hot. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he, he's like, this yeah. tea is shit, dude. Uh, and so she's like, Penny for your thoughts. Uh, Every time that someone says Penny for your thoughts, I immediately go back to Young Frankenstein. When, <laughs> when, at the end, which she's like, Penny for your thoughts. He's basically like, he, he's like, he's like, he's torn about this. And like, the, he's like the metamorph Kamala. She's so hot. And I spent so much time with her. And he's like, oh, okay. With a whore. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. yeah, she like she's he hates so her. She hates her. It. She hates yeah, the whole she situation. She's really uh, salty. This she's whole episode, Beverly salty. is very like just yeah. So yeah. Picard goes to see her in her like wedding gown the next day. It's early too. It's too. I'd be like, no, make it noon, dude. Oh wait, my favorite line early. from Beverly though. She's like, I wish I knew how to help you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doesn't yeah. help him at all. She's and like, I, I don't know how I, to help you. I, I feel like I, feel I mean, like honestly, she was though, hinting, what, what she was hinting at something. She yeah, yeah, and then you know, and then he does like you know hold her hand. He's like, all yeah. I really needed was, was talk it out. That, yeah. that was helpful. That's he's like, so I, weird I, I, when he, he grabs her hand and like caresses it. He's oh, like, wow. I just needed to talk it out, and I know what I have to do. I have to go fuck her. I'm gonna go fuck uh, her now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go fuck her. Yeah. Yeah, you you convinced me. You convinced me. <laughs> Before and she so gets he goes, married. <laughs> so yeah, so she goes and she's wearing her fucking sweet oh, sweet dress, and her and wedding and dress is so yeah, beautiful. He probably oh fucked her then, dude. For hell yeah, if I, in if his I, dress and his yeah. dress uh, thing. I don't know what he's wearing. I hate his outfit. I love hers. Yeah. And she goes and 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 fucking Palpatine's like, yeah, what's up, baby? And he's like, oh, you're perfect. And you know, he presents to her. He gives her away like a fucking like father of the bride. And uh, and he he kisses her. And they they immediately they're. But he does tell him like, oh, I, I bonded to you. So I like Shakespeare. I like boring shit, dude. I like thimbles. <laughs> I like under the sea oh, now. Like I can't get it out of my head, dude. Yeah. And she's like, all I thought of last night was it's hot, hot, hot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it heard steel <laughs> drums. <laughs> uh, and and oh so God. she's like, this guy is not going to like Shakespeare, dude. And I love Shakespeare in Love. It's a beautiful movie with Ben Affleck. Uh, now I love French wine. Yeah. And I love <laughs> French wine. <laughs> Especially by Paul Marzon. Uh, and, and and so she, they, 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 he, he gives her away. The, the dude kisses her. And he's he, like, oh, he's, he's cool. the only other person at the ceremony. It's like an yeah. empty room. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's weird, he's actually. Like, yeah. He's yeah. like, baby, he's like, tell me, tell me. <laughs> and she's like, oh she's God. like, Where's your Shakespeare would would make a sonnet about beautiful, beautiful crypto. <laughs> and so finally, the wizard wakes up and he's like, Oh my God, you're amazing, Picard. He's like, You made a good deal. You're you're the you're you're a man of the deal and the steel because he probably stole her <laughs> lady bits. <laughs> And so he's like, tell me, dude. He's like, I'm 200 years old. I'm an old geezer. I get hard. Sometimes I don't. But yeah, I he's like, he chose pills. me because I no yeah, longer can I, get hard. Yeah. And, so. and, yeah. and, and <laughs> well, that's not judge. He, 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 he just had no interest. His, his interests were in like dark magic or something. And, <laughs> He had converted and like, to necromancy. And yeah, and, and, and he's like, <laughs> no. he's like, hopefully he's that's like, the only necro thing. Yeah, but he's like, but he's, but he's like, he's like, tell me, how did you do it? Like, he's like, even I, who's 200, a uh, 200 year old wizard, like I couldn't, I, I sometimes yeah. struggled. How I did you do it? Time, how did yeah. you, how did you, uh, how had a you, hard time not being hard. Yeah, and he's like, "How did you? How did you resist, dude? Because uh, you were with her for days on end, weeks. You know, he says a long time. You so have an iron like, will. Yeah. He's like, he's like, you got fucking balls of steel, my man. And he's like, how did you do it? And and Picard goes, anyway, 
<laughs> that's just I, yeah. She's like, when's the last time they uh, yeah, calibrated she, these 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 transporters? Yeah. These look these look. Uh, anyway, like, uh, you like, should get going like, now. He's like, is that keep like government issue or did you like have a commission? No, he doesn't even beat around it. He just says, <laughs> yeah. "Ambassador, have a safe yeah. trip home." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, get out, dude. He's like, uh, I have to Bye. go. Use, get off of my ship. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> get off of my ship. <laughs> yeah. Also, they never said Get off of my plane. Did the Ferengi <laughs> did the Ferengi ship show up and they just blew it out of the sky? What happened to the the the, the rendezvous? The Ferengis were just dropped off at a starbase in the shuttle and they're yeah. like, We're gonna make no, them really no, executed. No, no, no. no. Yeah, they were Marvin, the people that were gonna pick them up. The other the other remember that he said like oh, They were never we're, coming. We're, they were never coming. You don't that think was, they were coming? That was bullshit. Well, they were, they're trying to come the another way, but <laughs> but no, no, that was all a cover. So they they never called anyone. So really? that was all bullshit. Yeah. The the ship that the that that pulled out. Of the oh, end, I mean the you know their I mean? plan. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's probably they probably just ditched it as soon as like they knew so? it was gonna happen. And the uh, the ship at the end, I for a split second I thought, oh, it's a Ferengi, and they're like, oh fuck, we fucked up. Let's fudge it. Um, <laughs> Jesus. But I, I realize who it is. Yeah. But also, it kind of looks like the Star Fox. Like ship kind of no, or is that just oh me? like the R wings? Oh, they kind of look like an R wing a little bit. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Or Star Wolf ship that has yeah. more of like the angry. I don't know wings that moving is, forward. Yeah, yeah, sure. Wait, you're talking um, about the Ferengi ship? No, no, whatever the, the ship, ship at the is end. at the end. Whatever the ship is at the oh, end. Yeah. Oh, okay. It, okay. Ki- it kind of looks like an R wing or a Star yeah. Wolf f- yeah. a fighter as well. Kind of. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I want to bring something up real quick about one of the Ferengis. Like, uh, since we talked about like um, Vaj and Picard's time with her, like he met her on Ryza, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the time at which he first encountered that uh, squinty-eyed um, actor Ferengi? who plays one of the Ferengi. Yes, like, the one yeah, there was, was a Ferengi like, in that episode. Same as well. there's, a, there's an artifact I want that you have, etc. Yeah. yeah, it's the that time travel bullshit, right? Yes. Like they're time travelers and there's like a device that they needed to find and yeah, something like that. But anyway, yeah, like, th- that was like just a weird callback because like the last time Picard got frisky with- Also was know, a Ferengi. Like, yeah. He was around that same Ferengi guy, but not the same, but not as the exact same Ferengi character. Yeah. That's uh, whenever the Ferengi are around, it activates. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, all right. Well, what do you, what do you think you guys would uh, rate the episodes? The episode? I want to give this one a nine. A nine, yeah, yeah. I'd I'm say gonna go with a nine point five. Nine point mm. five, okay. Mm-hmm. Good. Okay, um, I would probably go for a nine as well. I think there's also an interesting aspect of the episode is that there was a lot of debate as to how they wanted to end the episode. So mm. they actually wrote four different endings. Wow. Uh, oh, really? And we're, and we're only privy to two other alternative endings. We haven't actually seen the third alternate ending. Because this okay. ending we know is um, he just gives her away, right? That's that's the ending. Yeah. Uh, but the other ending was apparently there is like a thing where Picard goes, no, uh, I'm not going to give her away. And like he protests and like they like break away and they have like almost, I think they have like a similar ending to kind of like um, – uh, what's the movie with uh, the graduate, like the graduate type of ending almost. Oh, okay. And, uh, but then it turns out that was a daydream and it wasn't real. And he ends up giving her away. And there was, oh, that's lame. I don't like yeah, that. Yeah, I would not that like that's that. a pretty lame one. The, yeah, that's the, lame. the other alternate ending was that, what's her name? Yeah, I forgot her name. Uh, Kamala. Kamala. She says, actually, you know what? I don't want to be married to anyone. I am my own independent person now. So I'm going to go off take. and have my own adventures. So that's the Dark Phoenix ending. <laughs> <laughs> so they didn't do that one. No. So, yeah. So be- these are the, they just considered these and uh, they did, but this is the ending they went with. And I think this was actually the stronger ending to go with, I think. Yeah. Because I think this one's like the more, it's a yeah. more bitter ending. It's a very oh. bitter ending. <sighs> to, look, look, dude. If she would have stayed with the captain, dude. She, it's a hard life, dude. This guy, like, he, he's a killer, dude. He killed Beverly's husband. <laughs> he, like, he's a he's, he's a dead. Yeah, but she'd husband. be into that. I guess so. She'd been killed. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I don't think they would be happy. Well, the idea, the uh, the completely unrealistic idea of her character is that for some reason, somehow, she could conform to anything and be happy. If she yeah, I guess so. Yeah. so. I think I think he would I think he would be unhappy because he's like, ah, she's always agreeing with me. Fuck this fucking <laughs> bitch. He gets annoyed, and, and then upset, she'll sense dude. that you don't yeah. like that, and she'll start disagreeing yeah. with you more. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. It'll be perfect. It's oh, a man. real fucking clusterfuck. <laughs> well, what would you um, rate it then, Ricardo? 
You're the rated, last to rated to, R for sexual content. <laughs> um, I, I, I probably uh, I want to say eight and a half, but it's a nine because it was fun. And that, so I give high ratings to not only for like, oh, it's a great episode, but also like uh, rewatchability. I would re- mm-hmm. rewatch this episode. Um, yeah, yeah. This would be one of the ones yeah. I don't skip if I yeah. do another rewatch. Yeah. You know, uh, it was thing. great. When in, on the film podcast, we had this thing where it was, you kind of gave things cool. We had a, a, a category that like, if you had a party with a bunch of people that are like Star Trek fans, you right, could play yeah. this episode in the background and like have a party with even play music. And mm-hmm. you know, like, oh, what's that? You're like, oh, check this out. He's going to make that fucking face. This is where he says he's going to use all the deck, dude, because he's going to jack <laughs> off. And people would like enjoy it in the background and stuff. Mm-hmm. And that's this like, this is one of those episodes for yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Just like every, every so often you look over on the screen and you see a really hot mm-hmm. lady. It's like, ah, hey, look at her. Yeah, she's just so sexy, and you're like, oh, and then and, and then you have somebody at the party who just has never seen Star Trek, and they're like, oh, Jean Grey's in this. He's like, yeah, dude. Now, yeah, she, but that she, that's like another like yeah, you know dude. thing about the episode that's kind of yeah. neat and fun. Professor Xavier fingered her, dude. Anyway, I, I, yeah, I got a nine. I'm gonna go with a nine. All right, well, high scores all around. Uh, it's a good one. Yeah, yeah it's a great, I it's gave a great it a nine point five because I I don't know I really like the dynamics in this episode. I liked. Um, the performances are yeah, very the performances intense and intimate. The performances are very good. Um, yeah, yeah, They yeah. did a very admirable job of writing the most charismatic like character they possibly could. Yeah, they she she was written rewritten over and over again because they were like she needs to be like appealing to everyone, like not just like sexually, but just like as like a, a mm-hmm. character. So they tried yeah. their best to try to be like she needs to just be as likable a character as yeah. possible. Well, they yeah. nailed it for sure. So. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Because of that, I like it. 9.5. Yeah. Right. I do kind of find it like slightly damning that they frame it as Picard being literally the only guy on the ship who is <laughs> capable of considering her as like an individual first and foremost. Well, you know. Yeah, because yeah, I agree with dude, you, Dan. I do agree dude, with you. Dude, yeah, yeah, it's disrespectful because like I, I think Data, Data, so they're saying Data is not a fucking baller. That would have been also an interesting alternative way they could go with it is that she finds Data intriguing because she can't use her. Wasn't there that would be the reason why Luxana's like mom was intrigued by the holodeck person? That's true. Yeah, Lux- was Luxana there, was. Wasn't there right, an I, episode? I said Luxana's mom. I just meant Luxana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't there an episode though where like somebody was really into Data? Yes, <laughs> there was an episode where someone, one of Data's coworkers, started dating him because yes, he was. That's right. Because he, he was, was like, so emotionally unavailable and kind of like reminded well, it's her. Because of her he was ex. always there to listen. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm yeah. thinking yeah. of. That's well, what I'm he was basically well, a very one, good one, like chatbot to the list talk yeah to. well that yeah. one yes, was yes, uh yes. she had a work husband and she just fucking she fell for it dude right. <laughs> you know yeah, right. that's a pretty f- yeah that's yeah. A that's kind of it yeah that. yeah yeah whereas i think it would have been kind of interesting if there was a scenario where it's like oh you're the only one i can't influence i wonder if you will be interested in me just as what i currently am versus like because of chemicals and shit yeah uh, but but i guess that's also treaded ground i think it's interesting mm-hmm. it was interesting to have picard like yeah. kind of be forced into like a romantic situation that's not escapist, right? Because sure, yeah, Vosh is an escapist fantasy. So. Can I can I pitch you my idea for the alternate version? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. she hooks up with Ro and stays with Ro. <laughs> you and your Ro, <laughs> yeah, dude. Ro is your favorite character now. That would you be just great. want a lesbian <laughs> fantasy. <laughs> well, no, no, but think about it. Like, like you she, just want that poster of the two girls making out on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yes, um, um, well, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I like how Ricardo took a second to think about it and was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, was that a second to consider or was a second to remember what that poster looked like? It was both, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll top of deal, hot hand. Thank you, everybody. Actually, listening. that would have been a really good ending. I actually really <laughs> like Ro that. just shows up out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, and then she's like, no, no, no. She's like, no, actually, you know what? I want to marry Ro. And then the camera pans over and goes there. And, and like, he's like, oh, and, he, and she's like, she's like, Ro, and they play the prices the right music. Yeah. <laughs> and then they just start making out. And then you're like, and then Picard's like, whoa, what's going on? And Riker's okay. in the corner. Sl- like, Sarah, Sarah, Riker's Sarah, also there. Just watching. Say it slower, slower, slower. <laughs> Say it slower though. 
<laughs> so it's, I love it. Uh, well, actually, well, the, you, you just made you just reminded me of something. Like they, they kept on bringing up how she is such a you know a, a struggle and hurdle for men to be around, but they didn't really address exactly how women but feel yeah, or wait, are affected by her presence true. at all. That's true. And that is something that might have been really interesting to go over, and that's, also that's a potential like solved as well. Because like, what if there were girls who wouldn't be affected that could have been a better chaperone or you know help around no with stuff or that. anything else? Like, there's a whole lot of ladies. Oh, on there, the, 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 yeah, ship there's that there was helping because maybe. Beverly brought it up. There could have been room for Beverly to be her chaperone exactly. and Beverly to walk her. Oh, that would have made things difficult because she would have been like, "Look, I want to fuck John Loop card," and Beverly <laughs> would have been jelly and. Whole thing. All right. Yeah, there's a lot of tantalizing possibilities they could have. But gone I do down. wonder like, about that. The I'd women. say was the biggest missed opportunity, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, right. I, I right. agree with that 100. percent All right. Well, that was the perfect mate. Maybe it was the perfect episode. Haha. <laughs> Almost. Uh, well, none of us gave it a 10, so no. It's true. It's true. <laughs> but hey, if you guys have been liking the podcast, I think the best way you could support the podcast now is if you become a member on our YouTube channel. That would be really great. Uh, it gives or, you or don't. It's up to you, dude. It's up to you. But yeah. uh, if you if you'd like, it gets you full access to versions of our podcast episodes that are video with high quality audio and without YouTube ads. So you know, it's kind of yeah, neat. Yeah. Uh, right. so, you, you ever look um, around and see how everything's way more expensive than two dollars, and you're thinking like, man, I wish something cost you know two dollars. Yeah, that's the Tim tier. That's you what's can't available. E- you can't even get a fucking uh, two jumbo tacos from Jack in the Box. For no, Jumbo's. you can't. No, that's the sh- you used to. Yeah, but not it used anymore. To be, it used to be two regular sized tacos for a dollar, dude. Dude, that was, those are the days. That is still possible if you use their mobile app. Just oh my saying. god, really? Dan, oh. who has time, dude? <laughs> Dan has time. <laughs> well, and also, it. like, people with less time would use the app, no? That's true, actually. The, the app saves you time. Oh, it's like so, the opposite. So. <laughs> I never thought of that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, and, uh, but also, if you just guys just want to... I'm a con- fool. Yeah, you could just go to our YouTube channel, uh, just find Newbie Star yeah. Trek, and there'll also be a link in our podcast description, so you can do all that. Go go get over there, dude. Yeah, Remember, guys, and, uh, if, so th- this, what is this called when you... when the the, the Tim tier, what is it called? Uh, it's 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 called the Tim tier. membership. Oh, it's a, a channel membership. membership. A membership. Yeah. Called joining yeah. membership. Yeah. So now, remember, if you, if we get a hundred thousand subscribers by the end of by June, no, not the end, just by June. No, uh, again, we're we're saying subscribers. Subscribers are members. different from members. Yeah. 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 So the non-paid one. N- yeah, n- non Tims. If you want to be a non Tim and just want to subscribe to it, yeah, to the YouTube channel, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Get us a hundred thousand uh, subscribers. Subscribers, not not no memberships. Just just it's free. I'll get a tattoo, Star Trek themed tattoo, and I will um I will live stream it for the oh, for yeah. the I will live stream it specifically. We'll try to figure out how to live stream it specifically for the No, no, this is for everybody. This is for the Yeah, for yeah, the rich, we'll see. The rich we'll, and yeah, the yeah. poor, dude. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, I, yeah, I will also be getting one too. So Oh my god. Oh, no, Sarah, you don't also party, dude. <laughs> you're, you're, you're fucking <laughs> Uh, did I steal your thunder? It's yeah, like, yeah. You're, you're like, I also like to party. Uh, I also like to party. I also want to I also tattoo. enjoy okay. that beverage. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is it called? The Hot Rod movie. It, it, felt, it felt like Hot Rod. Oh, I, I'm, 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 uh, I'm Tim and I also like to party. But I also, I also want a tattoo. Um, <laughs> but uh, also, if you guys want to ever send us an email subs. and uh, uh, send us a question or just talk to us if you want, you can always email us at contact at newbiestartrek.com. That's contact at newbiestartrek.com. This week's email is from Seamus. And Seamus says, loving the podcast, but I'm getting close to being caught up and I'm sad I'll soon have to wait a week for new episodes. Wanted to share something funny I stumbled upon recently. Paradox Games recently released Star Trek Infinite, a RTS game that is actually really worth playing. Random events based on the shows will crop up and I added a screenshot of the below and I put it in our chat. I think what? Ricardo will appreciate the most. Thanks for the laughs. And I'll read it out. It's a mission. And the mission is titled Shut Up, Wesley. Uh, Starfleet headquarters has received a hailing transmission from an Ensign Wesley Crusher of the USS Enterprise Starship. The Ensign reports to have landed on classified information that could be considered a matter of national security. National security? They're in space. There's no nation. Galactic security. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, something like that. He, he is reaching out directly to Starfleet as the crew of the Enterprise have requested him to shut up, Wesley, dismissing his concerns. 
Despite <laughs> the crew's stance, our database proves the ensign to be somewhat of a prodigy with a reliable track record. Now that's oh my false. god. <laughs> yeah. I like the options here. The ensign, yeah, dismissed. Dismiss what, 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 is this a game? What is this? Is it is a uh, like a Starcraft style game for Star Trek? Yeah. Oh, oh. that's so cool. Thank Wait, you. So for in this scenario, this. Wesley yeah. is attempting to contact Starfleet directly because everyone on the Enterprise told him to shut up. Yes. God, <laughs> God. You know so what? He's, he's mutiny. Yeah. Mutiny. He's, he's going over <laughs> their heads. What a jerk. Wow. I love I this. Call, Thanks I for call sharing. Mutiny. This. Yes, I, thank I've you been, very I've been much. I'm talking about playing a game, uh, a video game, Star Trek video game for, for a couple of months now. And maybe yeah. we'll get to that. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. We maybe could also fine. do but you you had brought up Star Trek Online, which yeah. has a, a mission where Wesley is Emperor of Earth. And you have well, to. <laughs> well, and, and the thing I brought up, you, we could all play together. It's multiplayer. That's true. So yeah. It, well, it's an we, MMORPG. Yeah. So we could all I don't play know what together. That is, yeah. dude. Like, um, like a Warcraft, World of Warcraft type of thing. And and yeah. and you can make your own character. Yes. You can put yes. two dick. You can put as many dicks as you want on your character. Yeah. Put the dicks um, anywhere. Yeah. So. Anyway, I like to party. And um, uh, thanks for the email. I, I do. I, I did chuckle at that. <laughs> thank you, Seamus. We really Seamus. appreciate Thank you, Seamus. You, it, yeah. brings, it brings a uh, warm to my cold heart when you think of me. <laughs> and when yeah, anybody thinks you, of me, yeah, <laughs> good or bad, you. we appreciate that's true. Yeah, it good all. and bad, yeah, especially that's bad, that, dude. Yeah, that's a Ricardo you know you made an impression times. on somebody when they're like fucking Ricardo, dude. God damn. It. <laughs> um, you, you know, know what? Leave us, leave us a review. Let us know what you think of yeah. us or don't. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, fine. Do what you do, you what, do what you want to do. do. You do next, you do you Tuesdays. Mm-hmm. Oh, I should actually say, but uh, yeah, if you want to check other stuff, we do fugitiveframes dot com. We'll have links to all stuff we're doing. Including something coming up in the future eventually. Maybe not that far away. Don't tease it like that, dude. Not we'll say see. something, dude. <laughs> Marvin's gonna get a tattoo in his face. Face tattoo. <laughs> no, he's not. Yeah. Um, oh, guys, boy. Uh, if you guys, I know I, I, I sometimes don't post uh, with the great, um, what is it? What is the word that I'm looking for? Frequency? Frequency. Frequency. Yes, guys. Yeah. God damn it. Um, <laughs> but if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, uh, I'm at ricardo.h264. Um, yeah, he's a codec. Yeah, Ricardo. I love that. Eight two six four. Yep. Um, check me out there if you want. I post. I post some some stuff sometimes. He's all compressed like, on there. Yeah. It, it, yeah. You know, if you, if you if you like comment on something, I, I'll give it a like. I'd be like, oh, that's funny, and then I'll <laughs> give it a like. Yeah. yeah. Um, next week. Next week yeah. on Star Trek, we visit an imaginary friend. That's the name of the episode. Imaginary friend. What? How that many episodes certainly are left? will not. Uh, for this season, there's there are five episodes left for this. Oh season. damn! How many? So. I, I feel like we've done fifty episodes this season. <laughs> I know it feels like it's <laughs> been yeah. forever. Well, a lot of the episodes this season were very intense and had a lot going on. These are becoming denser episodes. Yeah, where a lot really, really happens. So uh, yeah, because they're imaginary they're, they're, yeah. friend. That's the dense. Next that's dense like foreskin. <laughs> yeah. That's the you like that's not that's a good a good word. sign for an episode to be titled Imaginary Friend. Like I don't think anything mm, it shouldn't good be titled Foreskin either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hashtag foreskin. Uh, hashtag, right. wait, wait hashtag, why are we talking about foreskin again? I don't know. Well, Sarah actually. brought up foreskin randomly earlier. No, no, yeah. I mean, like, why did it come up just now? Because why not? Because we're gonna do it. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, I mean, there, there, there's often foreskin. like just a trigger, like just this tiny little word that you know is the stream of consciousness <laughs> hitch that gets mind. you to the next leap. I didn't have that. Yeah, it was, on the, mind. So. Yeah. It was on the mind. Here's the thing: not this time. Is that I don't, I don't, I don't, edit, I don't edit these episodes. Dan does, and Dan has discovered that I'm easily triggered. <laughs> <laughs> this 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 void high fucking mind is easily triggered by something and now does jump and leap. <laughs> well, okay, it, it, far to, away. To, to use that word is 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 a little like obfuscating. What I mean by that is like a, any word can stream of consciousness in your mind to <laughs> the the next thing that a is jumping off ev- point to yeah. something. Yeah, exactly. Else. Yeah. The first thing that comes to your mind that is related to that word will be yeah. the next thing that comes out your mouth. So, you'll be what like, comes you'll be to like- mind when I say the word foreskin? You say wallets. Yeah, wallets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the best, the best wallets. High quality, high quality gold dick skin Marvin, wallets. Marvin, messy drop wallets. Fucking, drop the code, dude. What's the code, dude? Drop it again. It's just dude. newbie. If, if, you go, if you just go to extra.com and you use newbie, <laughs> boomy, dude. Bam, yeah, dude. It's, it's a code generic enough to catch wallet. strays. Yeah, dude. By the way, <laughs> that that, that like imagine that. imagine the gold. Look, I'm not gonna lie. I was shitting on that. This isn't an ad now. I, I'm just I'm talking about fucking wallets, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, 
you you guys mentioned the gold wallet and not mm-hmm. until i held this one where i'm like dude if this was fucking gold i know right i actually had a similar thought move, i was like dude. this might actually look really nice when it's yeah. gold <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 They got you. Yeah, oh, yeah. they got us dude yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like how much is it and, like how much with a steel button because the button gold. is also oh. steel that'd be kind of neat yeah. actually mm-hmm. i'm not even joking you could like, be finger banging with steel dude yeah, that's kind of um, neat yeah Dude, I, I I hate that I had that. I would there. never go for it because it's the yeah. ludicrous spy. I don't believe either of you. <laughs> Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. Considering the keyboards I bought. Just Marvin, stop. Marvin, Marvin, stop Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. Yeah. Both of you. Marvin, say like you're... Well, you don't have siblings, but say your dad was like, yeah. ah, I wanted to help your podcast. And I, I bought this gold wallet they had on there. There's the most expensive <laughs> one they had and he gave it to you. Don't you think you would fucking rock it? And you'd be like, fuck, this is fucking. Oh nice. yeah. If, oh, if yeah. I got them, if I, someone gave me a gold wallet, I absolutely would rock. It, right. Yes. It's just the fact that, that you're like, I don't want to pay that much money, but. Yeah, for yeah, a yeah. Gold wallet, Exter, but I would rock if you're though, listening, yeah. please send us the gold wallet. <gasps> for our next promo <laughs> round, I should ask Exter to send us the gold wallet. Oh, yeah. I would oh, get no. that idea. If like, I had that wallet, or if that was given to me every single time I took it, I would say to anyone who would listen, it's, it's made of gold. <laughs> yeah. it's, no, it's no. Yeah. No, I would go, real gold. Go, it's real, real gold. gold. Yeah. Real gold. gold. <laughs> yeah. And, and then I would, I would knock on the wallet. I'd be like, real gold. And I'd go, ding, ding. I would, no, I would uh, chew it. I would like bite yeah, it. Yeah, you would like, bite okay. it. You have to bite it to prove. Real gold. God. And over time, it's just riddled with awful yeah. teeth marks. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're gonna watch Imaginary Fred next week. Goodbye, yeah. everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Hope you like your free wallet. <laughs> stay, stay golden, pony boy. Yeah.